What is going on? What do you, what? There is no countdown. I don't understand what's going wrong. Something has happened. Stay tuned. Welcome to Kyoko Whiskey Musings. My name is Brian. It's Sample Sunday. The weekend is coming to a close once again. Another week begins. This is not the type of energy I want right now. What I want is to do a three-hour stream. No, I don't really want to do that. But here we are. We're going to do it. I have samples. I have, I have Russells. Many Russells. It's going to be great. I don't remember the last time I had Russells. Probably not that long ago. I'm checking the video now. Oh, I have to come and think. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Hello, John McKellen. Welcome to the show. I don't know what that was. All right, there we go. I don't know why I had to double check the stream. I know it was there. I just, it's the uh, whole starting up without the countdown thing. That's a little weird. Freaks me out a little. The poor time is 6 p.m. I need to start. I don't have my watch on. That is going to bother me. It's charging. So I was given Russell's samples. I have three, uh, three Russell's, and I have three hours to drink them. So three it shall be. Not one, not two, but three. Think not of four. I don't know what he says in that. I'm doing a Monty Python skit. I need to stop. I don't also, I don't also, I also don't know what the proof on these is. We have Russell's Reserve 2020 Tyrone A. And from what I understand, Tyrone is the name of one of the Rick houses. Something like that. I'm just gonna just kind of pour. Let me know what you have. If you have anything. Water, tea, vodka. I don't know why you'd be drinking vodka, but it's an option. I expect this will be kind of a quiet stream because as I found out, it's bourbon night is not going live because Mother's Day is a thing. And unfortunately, my stream is at the height of going out to eat dinner time on a day where everybody and their mother is going out to eat. What are you going to do? I don't have anything to do. My mother's in Vermont. She's having a lovely time there with my father, so I don't need to worry about that. Huh. And I am just going to sit back, enjoy the company of the viewers, and enjoy this Russell. Should I pour the whole thing? I'll pour a little more. Just a little, just a little more. Got to get the color of it right. It actually looks pretty nice. I was trying to figure out other things. A uh, little spoiler. I actually put the money into the stream yard. You can see the duck isn't there anymore. So there's that. I have my own logo I can put there, but I also have a logo that should show up in this vicinity uh, once the stream is done. Because YouTube does that. And uh, I don't need to do that, thankfully. But I can. See? There it is. It's fabulous. What else can I do? Oh, I did the video thing. I have this as well. But of course, as soon as I started the stream, I realized something was amiss. See if you can spot what's wrong when I do this. It's an overlay. I made it myself. It's super neat. has a like and subscribe thing, so I don't have to say it as often. Whew. So what's wrong with it? Can you tell? If you can tell, let me know. If not, I won't say anything. All right. First, the color. JJ, welcome. Chills. Chills to you and yours. I'm still deciding if I like this bubble thing for the chats. I have options. That one's bubble. Let me have block, minimal, default. Only four. And bubble is the one you get if you pay for it. So, bubble it is. Bubble. It's okay. If you like round. Here we are with our first pour. And of course, I might drink more bourbon glass in memorandum of its bourbon night. Same with the shirt. I think of these things. I don't want to, but I do. This looks wonderful, honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, fruity. That's nice. What kind of fruit, you may ask? I have no idea. Oh, this does smell good, though. What the hell? I really wish I knew the proof on this. <laughs> That's my main concern in my head right now. I was like, you're thinking of drinking three of these, huh? 
In three hours. Well, then. No oh, crap, I grabbed the wrong one. Which one did I just pour? There we go. Whew. And I'm going to drink all of them. So I may be Shane Lambert. JJ, if you're just showing up, I'm going to show you the thing because, you know, no one else will see it other than me. But watch. It's like a start of the video. It's like magic. I need to figure out what else I can do with that. I know other Whiskey 2 people have things they can do. I have yet to figure out exactly what to do. I've recorded stuff. I know what I'm doing. And I made the little like and subscribe thing here. It's so special. I made it myself, sort of. I really did, though. <laughs> you can't tell, but I did. It's fancy. I know graphic design. Whiskey Samurai, cheers. Welcome. I'm tempted to like show the video every time show what someone shows up, but that would get really annoying really fast. And you all know what it looks like, y'all. Most of you probably know what the video looks like. Because you, if you watch my videos, it's at the start, within the first 30 seconds, if I'm doing it right. Once again, Russell's Reserve. Sib, which I think is a single barrel pick or something. 2020 Tyrone A. And I, as I said, I believe that is a... It's probably a fun noise. I believe that is the Rick House stuff. I couldn't find a lot on it, but uh, what I did find, and what I'm going to use, because I always do something like this, uh, I could pull up that chart as well. If I had been planning this properly, I could probably bring up the, the wheel of doom, uh, the flavor wheel, but again, I'm not using that as much right now. I've been using the, the chart, thanks to Daniel Whittington. You can blame him for the fact that I'm using something else now. So it's like the third or fourth time I've changed it. That's okay, though. Ah, yes, the sequential whiskey tasting chart, volume 3.2. I'll open that up just in case. We'll go over the tasting notes and stuff, shall we? Oh, God. That's good. Whiskey knows. Welcome. Shrunk is welcome. We are all here to enjoy the whiskey. Whoa. Oh, man, I still got pop-ups showing up on my screen. And I'm waiting for my phone to make a noise because it does that too many times. Oh, it smells really good. It's like brown sugar and delicious. Delicious. I imagine some of you have an idea of what Russell's is like. Uh, I have only had it a number of times from samples. A few, few times from samples. Hmm. I haven't been seriously impressed, but I do like wild turkey stuff, so I'm not going to complain about it. And it's a free sample. So there you go. Trying to figure out where I want to put my chair right now. Good enough. This color would be amber to me. Don't know if it would be to you, but that's about right where I like it. In general. Uh, it seems to be clear. Or is it hazy? No, it's clear. I'm looking over the whiskey, th the whiskey smith's stuff. Oh, man. Private select. Mm -hmm. I want to have more of them. I want to have more of them, but um, I don't see them around here. At least I'm not looking. Well, caveat. When I say I haven't seen them, it means I haven't seen them at the one store I go to all the time. Because they're just not there. Uh, and I can't exactly go bottle hunting in a way that is meaningful. Because COVID's still a thing, and there's no way I'm going to do that right now. I was hesitant to do it before, and now it's just, no. <laughs> Leaving my apartment? Why would I do that? There's nothing but death and fear up there. I think I'll stay inside. That is the anxiety part of my brain talking, uh, if you're not aware. Sediments. There are no sediments. Viscosity legs, I don't do that. Well, I mean, yeah. Two? This is all the stuff I'm going over with Whiskey Smith's thing. Leslie, welcome to the new and improved uh, stream thing. Again, there's an overlay. It's messy. If you haven't figured it out, it's this. My name is being overwritten 
by said overlay, which is really annoying. You'd think the name would go over everything, but no. So that's something I have to fix later, if I remember. It's not hard. Just uh, I will probably I'm trying to put my hand on something that isn't there. There we go. I'll probably keep the background stuff, like keep that image, but then try and get that part of it and uh, fade it out slightly. It's going to take some doing, but I'm, I'm a Photoshop uh, guy. I can do that. No problem. It'll still be there. You just won't, uh, won't be. I might just cut it out. I don't know. I'm undecided. I'll figure it out later. I could do it right now, but that wouldn't be as entertaining as me panicking over drinking whiskey. Mm, it smells really good. I would say the nose on this is, uh, well, it wasn't delicate at first, so. Yeah. Age. <laughs> I like how they have age here. It's youthful, moderate, mature. I guess I'd say youthful? Oh, no, I'd say moderate. Youthful makes me think of new make. And uh, this is nothing like new make. And I think it was, what is it, nine, ten years? Ten years is Russell's? I think. I hope. Probably. Again, I don't have the bottle in front of me, but it's Russell's ten, I think. Maybe. Oh, my eyes. That didn't help. There we go. The barrel. New oak, used oak. James Morgan, welcome. Did you get in touch with Aquabite? That's the only thing I'm going to think of for a while. And every time I see your name, because he asked me for your info, I'm like, I don't. Can't help. All right, Hagna Sip. This smells wonderful, if you're wondering. Whoa. Burning going down. That was a little that was spicy at first. Came on a little strong. What was that? There was something very specific that just happened there, but it zipped past me. Ah. To the notes. Was it clove? Was it mint? Was it eucalyptus? Anise? All these weird notes they have. It's a good amount. I mean, the reason I like this Whiskey Smith thing is it's kind of, it does exactly what I do. It's like I have a handful of things I say every time. Good. I know I told you on Friday, but uh, my anxious filled brain is like, oh God, has he forgotten? Did I forget to tell him? I don't remember. It's great. But I've told you, I will forget it for now, I hope. But uh, as soon as something like that, if something like that ever happens to me, it's just, it's locked in there. It's going to be there for a while until I completely forget about it. Unive poke. Welcome. Woo. 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 <clears throat> I don't know how that sounded. Ah, oh, gosh, I need to take another sip because something happened there, but I'm not quite sure what it was. It was a very specific flavor, and I can't. That's the thing, James. I don't know. I looked up the uh, the mash bill earlier. I think. Hold on. Hold, please. I know I did. Where is it? Why? Why is this my life? All right. So I did look it up earlier, but now I have no idea where it went. It was in my other browser. My third browser. It was in my third browser because I need three. For no reason at all. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here I didn't have open. All right. There is a website page thing I use. It doesn't always have everything, but it's called modernthirst.com, and apparently it's got bourbon and whiskey mash bills. It looks like the Russell's Reserve one, at least the regular Russell's Reserve, is 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% barley. Why do I say it like that? So, the barrel entry proof is 114, supposedly. Again, I found it on the internet. Ah, Papa and Molly Kilko. Hello. Enjoy dinner. Oh, and I wanted to do a thing. This stream is dedicated to mom. I need to find the thing and do the thing. 
There you go. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. That's what she looked like uh, probably when she was younger than me. Dad, let me know. Ma, let me know. I have no idea how old that picture is. But uh, Mother's Day and stuff. Thanks. <laughs> I'm so bad at Mother's Day. Here we go. That was Mom a very long time ago. Before I was born, probably. Good. Oh, it's a, uh, that's right. I should say that. I did say that. Russell's Reserve 2020 Tyrone A. And as far as I can figure, Tyrone A is one of their warehouse names, I guess. And A is probably, is it Tyrone A? or It's got to be. It's got to be a place in there. Whoa. Yes. There you go. Happy Mother's Day. Did the thing go away? How did I do that? Here. I don't know how I, I don't know how to deal with the thing. It's still new. Oh, man. That was a long time ago, Dad. I'm not going to lie. Well, I have no idea. Slap you, James. Yeah, I'm no good at math. I'm trying to picture when Mom was 21. I was like, uh, uh. That was one of the pictures I happened to have on my computer. I think it was on my computer. So I dragged it out. I know there are more I could download it, but I was in a, I was in panic. It happened to be there. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Ow. Yeah, pain. There's like a chocolate note in there. That's fun. Find the thing, do the thing. So, what was I saying earlier? I don't remember. Glad it's on film. Film? I did it again. I've aged myself horribly. Still trying to figure this out. Tyrone A. Rick House A, floor four. I have some tasting notes here. From the Rare Bird 101, who some of you may know. I don't know if he's on a... Does he have a YouTube channel? I have no idea. He's on Twitter. But uh, he's got some notes, but I don't know if they're exactly for what I'm trying. So I know they aren't, actually. So that just makes things complicated. <whistles> Mr. Whiskey Shits, hello. I think it's 60s. Maybe early 70s. It's got to be 70s. 70s? 70s? I want to say 70s. I have no idea. I am drinking Russell's Reserve 2020 Tyrone A. Still not quite sure what that means. I'm pretty sure Tyrone is a warehouse. Or a warehouse? What do they call it? Rick House. Rack House. Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, seventy. It had to be somewhere in the seventies, possibly early, early seventies. Because I wasn't born until I it was the eighties, nineteen eighty. Surprise. So, and she was married for seven years, six years before I was born. I have no idea. I don't want to think about it too much. It's too complicated. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. There was a note that I got initially, but it's gone. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I barely knew what it was. But it's tasty. Tasty. And I'm enjoying my new overlay. I'm going to try and enjoy it as, as long as I can, but my name is still all messed up. But whatever. It's fine. What I could do, that would look kind of weird, but I could just cut off the yellow outline thing at the bottom here. Because that's also where these pop up. Kind of. But at least those go over the overlay. Blech. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. And for those of you who are just showing, this is going to be a long stream. 
I apologize. Not really. I don't really apologize. Is what I mean, but oh, spice, spice. Where was I going with that? I totally forgot what I was saying. God damn it! 1974, six years. I can't remember these things. I wasn't alive, so it's hard to remember. 1974, six years. Yeah, it's probably early 70s, late 60s, I suppose. <whistles> I said I started saying numbers, and now I have 1984, the song going through my head. Great. It's all your fault. This is good juice, as they say. It's tasty. I was talking about the stream being long. Yeah, it's Bourbon Night is not going live at their usual time slot. They're doing Mother Day, Mother's Day things. So I get to do this for as long as I want, which is three hours. Normally, I can deal with two hours. And I feel like I did a three-hour stream not long ago. Was it the weekend before last or something? Because she was like uh, Sarah was sick or something. I have no idea. I don't remember things, so it's fine. What are you going to eat, Dad? Where are you going? What's for dinner? I haven't had dinner yet, which was probably a mistake, but okay. She keeps him out of trouble. I'll give him that. I'm watching you, Dad. Have some whiskey. Only a little. I'm having too much. I'm having enough for both of us. But you should have some, too. Oh no, there's a thing on my shirt. Well, now I have to take this shirt off. I'm not gonna. Yeah, that's one of those things I just noticed while I'm doing this. I'm mortified. Not really. I don't even know how that got there or what it is. I haven't worn this shirt in ages, weeks. Oh, the matter on Down the mountain. I thought my shirt looked funny. I'm like, it's bourbon night? What the hell is that? No, that's the only thing I'm going to see for the rest of the stream. I might actually change my shirt now. I won't. I have to think about something else. I forget about it. Oop. Oh, that delay. No. Ah. There you go. Oh, that's good. What was that first note? Damn it. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, Rare Bird 101. He has a Tyrone Rickhouse comparison, but his tasting notes are for specific bottles. So, best I can look at what he said about some areas of the Tyrone Rickhouse. But again, it's not the uh, it's not the exact liquid. But supposedly it's got similar qualities because it's in a similar area because science, I suppose. Oh my god. What are you doing? You're mad. If I'm functional, I might. Uh, if I'm not functional, I might. So we'll see. I'm going to run out of energy real quick. I usually do two-hour streams for a reason. But uh, now that they're three hours, it's it's fine. No pressure. But it gives me the excuse to try these three whiskeys. I was going to only do two of them because my uh, motto, my, God, it's already been 23 minutes, 24 minutes, and 24 minutes. Ugh. My thing is to only have one drink per hour, give or take. You can kind of miss those a little bit. So you can have one drink every 45 minutes if you really want to push it. Definitely don't do two drinks in one hour. That's usually a mistake. But these are about an ounce and a half each, and I'm trying to make sure I don't do anything stupid. Uh, you know, I'm not going to fault any other whiskey tuber for drinking in excess on their stream. That's their prerogative, and it is recorded. So if they want to remember that for all time, for all YouTube time anyway, they can. <laughs> I do not want to do that. I've done that enough in my life, and uh, thankfully not much of it was on film. None of it was on film, probably. But that was before the age of cell phones and video cameras. And mm. 
You know what this is? This means I have to buy another It's Bourbonite shirt. That's what it is. I don't need any more shirts. And if I say it loud enough, uh, maybe they'll just send me one for free. I'm promoting them. Glass, shirt, stained shirt. Whatever. It's not the first time I've worn a stained shirt. Won't be the last. But I'm going to keep doing this. Just to keep, keep it there. No. You heard nothing. I do not need more shirts, Mother. <laughs> Thank you, though. If I get one, it will be because I've promoted them. Not that they need promoting. Keep that in mind. I'm pretty sure I bought the... Yeah, I bought both of these. I bought the glasses and I bought the shirt. But I, as I've told my mother and my father and everyone, I do not need more things. I have so many clothes that I'm just going to give away at some point. And I was even going through stuff in my apartment that I need to get rid of or donate. Stuff that was just, you know, placed aside and forgotten, so... Certainly not worth having. Thanks for stopping in there. I wasn't sure you guys were going to visit. But thank you. Mazel tov. Have a drink. Enjoy your dinner. Etc. Etc. Love you, Mom. Bye. <laughs> okay. More about Russell's. I've never met Russell. I hear he's a nice guy. I still feel weird not having my watch on. Just so we're clear. Oh my eye. Oh my, my eyes are acting up. Right? People like free shirts. But uh, they are doing stuff tonight. They're doing Mother's Day things, from what I understand. So there you go. You know what it is? This is going to bug me because I don't know what I did and when. Like, I have no idea what that is. It doesn't feel like anything happened. Worst of all, this is a spot I scratch a lot. Well, at least I used to. Not so much anymore. I have skin issues. TMI. But uh, I would do that a lot. Not so much these days. It's under control. Sort of. For the most part. Stop asking me questions. All right. So Tyrone A. Tyrone? Tyrone. Tyrone? I don't know what to call this. So tasting notes from Rare Bird 101 for Tyrone A. Which is, this is again, he's going over notes for a select pick. Uh, single barrel bourbon number 200077 Rickhouse A44. Selected by blah, 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 blah. It's very specific, but this is the only thing I could find that had anything to do with that part of the warehouse. So hopefully, I will get a few of the notes he has thus mentioned here. Shall we proceed? I've been. Ris I've been <laughs> I've been listening to Robin Hood lately for my father. So if I start to speak in a very weird way, that's why. Hitherto and on, good sir or madam. That's the kind of book I've been listening to. If you've never listened to a Red Robin Hood, I'll let you know when it comes out on audiobook, and then you can buy it from my dad on Amazon or Audible or wherever the hell it is. Hitherto and on. Come henceforth. There, there's so many weird words they say in that book, but it's wonderful. All right, taste it. First of all, tasting notes only? What? Doesn't have the uh, smells. Oh, there's a lot of fun words here. Oh, my eye. What is going on with my eyeball today? This is just being annoying. I need to drink more water. Thumbs up. Mm. I did move a bunch of stuff around earlier, like hours and hours ago. So it would be really weird if the dust was bothering me now. I'm doing a live stream. There you go. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I need to check. The thing is, it would have to be upside down. <laughs> that would just confuse people. It would be like a tasting wheel, except it would be upside down. And people would be like, why is your shirt upside down? It's like, well, so I can do this. <laughs> Get some tasting notes. Oh, that would be so funny. Never going to do that. I would rather never have merch. The only reason I would have merch, to be clear, is if one Patreon's asked for it. By the way, I have Patreon. I slid that in there. And uh, 
also if I had a thousand subscribers. So I'd have to have a thousand subscribers and Patreon people demanding, nay, uh, begging? No. Demanding is a good word. Motorcycle. Demanding that I give them some kind of shirt slash something to buy. Glen Cairn, hat. What is the normal things? T shirts, hats, glassware. Oh, what's the other thing people have been doing now? Coffee and I don't know what else. I can't think of any other branded thing off the top of my head. Oh, yeah, toppers. It's probably a bad noise. Coin toppers. It's another thing. I don't have the money to make merch. <laughs> Thus, why I have Patreon and PayPal and Venmo. <laughs> We've been over this. I don't I don't have an income officially. Until YouTube starts to give me one, and then things will change for the better, I swear. As soon as I get to the 1K. We'll see when that happens. I will do the banner thing, but that'll just make things worse. Look at that. It goes over the overlay. It also goes over the like button. It doesn't go over my name. Maybe I should just move that up. We'll see. Again, first time trying out the overlay. So far, so good, but I've realized I have to move this thing up a schmooch and then get rid of the part over there that's covering up my name. Because some people will come in here and be like, who the hell is Ryan Kilko? Rian? Ryan? Brian? Hmm. That is really good. Damn it. <laughs> I can't get Russell's easily. <laughs> and by that, I mean, I haven't seen that the one store I go to. Tasting notes. Well, I can tell you that there are lots of other YouTubers who have them. Because I don't. And even if I did, I wouldn't even know what to do with them. That is like my great terror is to try to figure out how to design a tangible thing, like a shirt or a logo for a Glen Cairn or a topper or whatever they're called, challenge coins, I guess. Like this one's made of metal. This is the Crowded Barrel slash Whiskey Tribe one. How you whiskey? It's a question. You all have to answer it if you know the answer. And if you don't, you owe me a drink. Ha <laughs> ha. That's how that works. But yeah, that's that's actually one of the things I did train for, study for, graphic design, certified. I actually found my certification today. That was weird. <laughs> I was wondering where it went, and I happened to find it today. So I still have it, which is good. I have my high school diploma and my graphic design certificate, and that's all. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the idea of making something like the idea was with graphic design was to literally create tangible things, magazines, and logos, that sort of stuff. But to actually do it, whoo, it's scary. But then, you know, there's stuff like this, it just says drink more bourbon in fancy font. It doesn't have their logo on it. I can do font stuff real well. I like fonts. If you look at Kilco, that's a whole font I had to search for. I didn't make it, but the font is like this Celtic-ish design. And this, if anyone is ever wondering what this kind of stuff is and why it looks that way, is a, it's supposed to be reminiscent of a torque. It's an Irish thing. I thought about getting one once. It's like a necklace thing. If you look up Irish torque, uh, you will see that it looks similar to that, sort of, which is why I used it. The more you know... Hmm. That's the other thing. I have my model lately at the age of 40 is I don't need more stuff because <laughs> there's too much stuff out there. I picture uh, like anything I produce ending up at a Savers or something like that someday. It's like, well, that's not really a great feeling. Time is irrelevant and objects are just... Objects last longer than people. That's the scary part. Like There are things out there that have existed for hundreds of years, longer than anyone else has been alive. Whoa. The pyramids is a nice example. 
Let's not go down that path of philosophy just yet. So I haven't had enough to drink. We'll get there. We'll get there. That's what we're musing about. We get to muse about everything. I still don't have my watch on. It's freaking me out. It's right here. It's charging, I promise. It's Fitbit, if you're wondering. Again, it's something I used a credit card for. Don't do that. I don't regret it. I've had it for years, but also it was too expensive. All right. Tasting notes. I was getting to it. Tasting notes for the Tyrone A. Uh, again, these will not technically line up for this exactly because it is not the same bottle, but it gives me a starting point. And some of these I like. Uh, Rare Bird Run One did a good thing with this. So here we go. The nosing technique. I don't know why I have to do that. So the tasting notes he has are nutty toffee, apple jacks, toasted caramel. Caramel, 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 zesty oak, nutmeg, apple butter, confectioner sugar, cinnamon, medium long finish with fruity vanilla spice. I said fruity. Tingy herbal tea hints of clove and pepper. I like some of those. This is a tasting note, though. It doesn't help me for the smell. It smells wonderful. Well, it smelled a lot better when I first started. I don't know what that is. Like, you first pour a whiskey, it smells so much... There's so much more to it. And as it sits open, it seems dim for me, at least. or makes it harder to figure things out. At the very least, that's what it seems to be like for this guy. I do get the confectioner's sugar. And the cinnamon on the smell. Oh, the apple butter on here. Nutmeg, I think. Maybe. Again, I have a hard. I realize I have a hard time doing the tasting notes because there's this little blockage called uh, what is it, anxiety. <laughs> That's what it is, I think, and it is keeping me from just going. It's like this. There's a, there's a buffer, I suppose, in between my brain and saying things that I'm experiencing. Oh, it smells really good. That's what it smells like. It's reminding me of like apple pie or oh cinnamon donuts. Oh donut. I like the words apple jacks on here. That was a good one. As soon as I saw it, I was like, well, of course. Toasted caramel though, that's what I'm kind of going for. What? I'm going, what? What? What is it? And it says this is a well-balanced, quintessential on-profile wild turkey for the one he reviewed. Not the same one, just happens to be the same Rick House. Hmm. Ooh. The oak tannins showed up there when I held on my tongue for a sec. Oh. I guess I'd say nutmeg. My mom gave me a bunch of spices recently that I can go through to try and figure stuff out. It's not easy though. Ooh, ah, ooh, got a little tingle in there. Yes, they're like metal. I considered getting one, but I realized there'd just be a giant piece of metal around my neck all the time, and it's like, oh. I decided thus, then and there. I would have to get a whiskey um, necklace thing. What are they called? Medallion? Go to the uh, Wizard Academy and get myself a giant medallion after I pass the tasting thing. That's like a giant torque almost. Not really, but it's probably about as heavy as one. But then I can officially say I'm a whiskey connoisseur thing. I don't know. The idea of actually going to Wizard Academy and trying to take all those classes one expensive i thought about doing the help me pay for a class or help me pay for a bottle i've done that before too that 70 dollar uh, maker's mark is still out there and yes i will be doing the reviews for maker's mark soon hopefully within this week i hope to get them done no promises but it's the idea so far it gives me a reason to drink all three of those i really want to do that i want to open them more importantly more importantly than anything else, I want to drink them. Also, like, subscribe, and uh, share with friends. 
I wonder what would happen. Here's a question. What would happen if all of you who are here copied the link to this video and said, hey, come join me while I watch this stream thing on all the dumbass social media out there, like the Instagram. Well, Instagram's pretty hard. So like the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, the Reddit, although that usually backfires. I tried to do that recently. I tried to share my uh, video with the Whiskey Tribe Reddit group. And they went, no, no, self-promotion. No, you're banned for like two weeks. That was great. Like, this doesn't feel very tribe-like if I can't share what I'm doing with the tribe people. Oh. I get it, self-promotion, which I, of course I was doing. I want more subscribers, damn it. To appease the YouTube overlords. They demand your thumbs, I'm sorry. Hope is a turtle. It is. It lasts a long time if you let it. I hope for lots of things like uh, money <laughs> and more whiskey, and that's about it, really. That's really the two things I'm most concerned about at the moment. So there you go. Thankfully, I don't have to deal with like crazy stuff. Uh, we don't do that. But there is this prevailing fear that if I don't get some kind of regular income someday, I'm going to have many problems down the line. Thus, I need to get to 1,000 subscribers and get that sweet, sweet YouTube revenue, whatever it is, you know, $4 a month, whatever. I don't even know what it is. But it'll be more than I'm getting now, which is, thankfully, due to Patreon and uh, donations from the streams. Like the fact that I have all this nonsense now, the overlays and such is because of Patreon. Believe it or not. So I can actually pay for this stuff and be all a professional. A professional now. I don't know if they're out. I assume they are. There's no way for me to tell, believe it or not. I can't tell if my parents are here or aren't. I know there are 10 people here with eye as upon me. The evil eye of Sauron is upon you. So I don't know if they're here. Either way, they could watch three plays. So message me on Instagram or Twitter or something. I don't know. There are options. There are ways to get in touch. Email me. Secrets. 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 I was watching Hot, Hot Butter Rolls last night. Now I want to do like ASMR stuff. I'm not going to. But it's tempting. Needless to say, this Russell's is good. I'm going to have to put this in the memory banks. And it's gone. I'll have to try to remember at some point, if I ever want to try Russell's, eyeball Ty Tyrone A. Good. So here's the thing. I didn't watch that, but I heard about it. <laughs> and if you were here on Friday, you know exactly how much it costs for me to do a bottle chug. Thus, it will never happen. <laughs> That's how that works. I could have done a low one. Like, part of me was like, oh, $100, I'll do a bottle chuck. And I went, someone might do that, so no. Do the exact opposite. Add another zero, you're good. $1,000 for a bottle chug. Never gonna happen. The only one who could do it isn't here. <laughs> and even if they could, they wouldn't. So, I'm good, man. Hell, I went to... Uh, what was it? Was it $100 on Patreon? I think there's a $100 slot on Patreon. But that's kind of like as a joke. Because I don't understand why anyone would give me $100 a month just to create content. If they do, great. But it's there as a like, okay, someone might. Maybe. That'd be unbelievable, to say the least. Because I like making videos. I was talking about this with some people on the Discord with the making the content. It's like I do it because I want to do it. And if I'm doing it to try to appease people, that's when things are going to start going sideways real quick. Oh, it's easy. I have no desire to bottle check anything. Uh, I don't think I have... Hang on. Memory banks. No, I don't think I've ever been persuaded by the chug thing. Like, I never did. There was no, like, chug, chug. It's like... Never happened to me. Uh, I never did a, what the hell is that thing where you stab the beer and then like drink it like that somehow? Uh, I've never done, 
one of the other weird methods out there. There's a whole bunch of college bullshit that I just glanced over because I didn't go to college. Ha <laughs> ha. I showed them not getting a further education. Ha. Huh. What else was there? What's the tube? There's like a tube and someone pours a beer in it. And you drink it that way, which is really stupid, but it's a thing. I know that exists. I've done shots in stupid ways before. I don't think I've drank out of a bottle, though. Not that I remember. But then again, if I drank out of a bottle, I probably wouldn't remember it. No, there's no memory of that. I've drank too much, certainly, especially in my younger years, but never in that way. At least not that I recall, as I said. I'm something. I don't know. I'm... It's the three-hour thing. I'm panicky. It's going to go on three hours. I know what will happen, though. Like, all the people who watch this bourbon night, they're going to come right in here. It's going to be swell. <laughs> I'm overly cynical today. That's what I am. Mm, it still smells good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. True. I know I did a shot of uh, Jameson, but that was like 10 years ago, probably. And that was just to have a shot with a friend, and it wasn't anything crazy. In fact, I know I said it was smooth. Because it was. I took a shot of it. And I was like, oh, I didn't hurt at all. How nice. Kind of kind of like the starting point for trying to drink whiskey as a, a normal-ish thing rather than taking shots of it. When I realized, oh, there's some taste to this, but also it didn't hurt me. I can't tell you it's a secret. Mystery guest. Secrets. Soon. Here's the thing. Even I don't know when it's going to be because that's still new. Uh, the fact that um, Shayla was kind enough to actually show up for my stream was surprising to me. But also, it took a little bit of time and effort to get it to happen because she's very busy. I'm not. <laughs> but I have... Uh, what's the word? What's the, How do I say this? How are words? What is words? Hold, please. Informally. I've informally invited some people to visit the streams if they ever should care to do so. I do not want it to be a formal thing. I do not want it to be a, a lure to get people to show up. I think I've said uh, to most of the people who could do it, it's like, you are, it's up to you when you want to be here. And you're a mystery guest, so no one's going to know who you are. And if you'd like to tell your patrons or something like that, and like secret, secret, you can do that, but it's not necessary. That is how I want to do things. I want, again, my main thing is I want people to be here because I want to be here, not necessarily because I asked them to. Uh, I will, you have to ask though. That's the annoying part. You have to be like, hey, if you ever want to come on a stream, you know, let me know. I'm super popular. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But again, soon. I can't say when because I don't even know. And as I always, as I was saying before, I want it to be a mystery guest. I always want it to be a mystery guest because for the people who continue to come here, you know, most of you, uh, who come here and watch on the regular, it's a nice surprise. It's like something to look forward to when I say mystery guest because you don't know who it is and I do. That's also part of my favorite thing is <laughs> I know who it is and you don't. Yeah, that's just fun for me. But I know that, that here's the thing. You cannot build... Well, actually, you can't. It's like, you cannot build an empire on someone else's... Oh, wait, yes, you can. If an empire falls, it's an empire grows on top of that. Just... My point is, I'm not going to build a channel quite right if it's just you know other people saying, go check this guy out on YouTube. That doesn't work very well. It kind of works. It's certainly gotten me to where I am, at least, to some extent. But at some point, you gotta you got to row your own boat. I don't even know what that means. No bourbon, look out. Look out. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> bourbon is also my go-to these days. That is because of the price. Tariffs are still a thing. They exist, and everything that is still out there is going to have that price a little higher. And I got to say, retail stores are not really going to have a good reason to go lower. We can charge this much, and people will buy it. Just keep it there. 
Sweet. Ah! A, a pop up there. Uh, I'm trying to think who might know more about Irish. That's a tough one. I know there is, um, actually, he's probably live right now. There's an Irish whiskey guy. Oh, gosh, I can't remember his name. Stories and Sips. There we go. That's what he does. He usually does a stream around the same time I do, but it's more of a a different kind of thing. I haven't watched it in a while, so I don't know if he's changed it at all. But it helped uh, him and me for a little bit get through freaking uh, pandemic times. Nothing else, especially since Ireland was in lockdown and stuff. So there's that. You could. Uh, some of us might, but I'm not staying there for 24 hours. I can tell you that right now. I, I have a very strict schedule as a uh, first officer, first commander, commander, first, uh, number one, whatever. But, you know, two hours. That's it. <laughs> Even for tonight, I'm, I'm going over two hours by a good amount. And my brain is like, this will be a mistake and you know it. I'm like, yes, I will. I will know it that it's a mistake, but here we are. I get to drink more whiskey, so that's a plus. But you know, as with most things I do, it's kind of a precursor to other ones, other people's streams. Not always intentionally. Like Trev goes on after after me on Friday, as does uh, Eric Wait, I think, as well. And then ADHD Whiskey, who goes on real late, 10 o'clock my time. And for today, it would normally be, I would go on at 6, and then it's bourbon I would go on at 8. And then I think Destination Bourbon usually go on at 9. I think, pretty sure. But a lot of, actually, lately, I haven't been watching too many other streams. Not because I don't want to. I've just been too burnt out, honestly. I burn out real easy. John T., welcome. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I'll do the thing just for you, because some of you may not have seen it. And it's because I can, and this is going to be annoying to everyone for a little while, because it's new. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's new. <laughs> I can do the thing. That I, the, I used to only be able to do the 30-second countdown deal. And now I can bring in my little intro thing, which needs to be updated horribly, but haven't yet. Most of those bottles that are seen aren't even there. And the Whiskey Tribe thing, I don't have it there anymore. Actually, it's right there. Is that it? Hold, please. Oh, there it is. It's up there, just not in the – that reflects real nice. It's not in the same spot. And I have many more whiskeys now, as I've said before. And I can't see chat. There we go. Oh, it's a zinger. I'm reading chat, reading chat. Don't tell me that. I don't want to know. <laughs> I want Chinese food. I haven't had Chinese food in ages. For no good reason. I mean, it doesn't always agree with me, so there's that. But for the most part, there's like one place I can walk to technically and get it. I just haven't. What I hear is is a smiling. I don't know why I started doing that. Hmm. I'm getting it good. I've almost hit the hour mark. How did this happen? Oh, God damn it. You know, if anyone would like to donate to me getting a new water bottle, this one likes to just spill on me occasionally. It's always when I'm not thinking about it. Oh, well, it's just water. No, I'm not sure who the do it is to, but I haven't had Chinese food in a while, and I'm not going to get any soon. What do I have to eat for dinner? Oh, crap. I don't know. I didn't plan this far ahead. <laughs> Ooh, that was weird. Hi. Yeah, I'll just go right now. Bye. Yeah, usually I only get, um, what's it I usually get? General Chow's? 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 T-S-O. General Chow's. 
And that's pretty damn good, I'll admit. And I usually get the dumpling. No, not dumpling. Egg roll. Oh. So good. As Rex might say. You forget, Bourbon, I do not have excess cash all the time. Although you wouldn't think I do by the fact that I have so much food in my Instagram. But there's a secret to that. And it's usually that I go out and get food with my parents. And they're the ones paying. So since they're in Vermont right now, ha <laughs> ha. Uh. And I don't know what's for dinner. Although I was very amused to see Hot Butter Rolls got, uh, what was it? Like fast food delivered to his door yesterday. That was hilarious. Was it Jack in the Box or something? Tiny tacos and churros and something else. Oh, give me all the bottles. John, if you send me a message, I will send one back to you. If I try to do it now, it's just going to make me very distracted and complicated. But I'm on there. You know, I accept messages. But if I don't do it now, I'll forget. And if I can't do it now because I'm doing I'm doing a stream right now. I can't, I can't. <sighs> I'm thinking about Chinese food now. God damn it, bourbon. Uh I'm also thinking about what I have in the fridge, because I swear I have something, but my brain is just I have taquitos. I think they're called taquitos. Taquitos? They're really tasty. What else? I have some burritos, not burritos, burritos, whatever they are. They're frozen though. They're not great. They're free. <laughs> oh, they're not free. I bought them recently. Oh my God. I don't even know how much the Chinese food is these days. I imagine the prices have changed, but I used to get their lunch deal and that was around $7 and that was like a big old thing of pork fried rice. Uh, the General Chow's chicken, a little bit of broccoli in there to, you know, pretend like it's healthy. And uh, it would come with an egg roll, and their egg rolls were freaking good. So that's on the list now, thanks to you. Maybe I'll get Chinese food later this week. I haven't had it in quite a while. You know what it is? It's because I can't order it online. Oh, wait, yes, I can. I just haven't. And it still feels weird. But that was fairly new. Anyway, stop talking about Chinese food. I'm hungry. I want egg rolls now. Or dumplings. Oh, dumplings. Stop it. Talk about whiskey. Okay. I need to finish this because I have less than three minutes left to start on the next beverage because we're drinking a lot today. I might sing a song if I start drinking another drink. I apologize in advance. Although I was trying to sing something earlier. I have a couple songs in my head, but they're not, they're not great. It's like songs from Cinderella for some reason. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. There's that one. And then there was, oddly enough, the Two Evil Sisters song. Why would a fellow want a girl like her? A girl that's truly something. I don't know how that got there either. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is good. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. The brown sugar stuff. Oh, I really do wish I had a bottle of this. That's uh, that's unfortunate. What I will do. I will put my Instagram open just so I can look at it. But again, I'll still forget. Ooh, Black Bourbon Family posted something. That looks like a lovely place. Where the hell are they? God damn. If you didn't know, Blackburn family's on YouTube. They also don't need my help. Uh, I think they're over a thousand subs now. I know they're over a thousand subs. They were on a mash and drum recently, so they've definitely got to be over that now. God. You see on his channel, and boom, a thousand subscribers. That's how it works. That's not how it works. <whistles> oh, crap. Now it's stuck in my head. What have I done? Oh, God, this is going to be stuck in my head all night. Some people say I'm good at uh, whistling. I 
I need this to stop. I actually have watched quite a few musicals. I just don't bring them up because people don't often like people who like musicals for some reason. Uh, Phantom of the Opera and Cats, those are very divisive. Uh, what else? I haven't actually seen... I was going to say Edward Scissorhands. That's not what I meant. I haven't actually seen Demon Barber of Fleet Street. I watched the movie. That was pretty good. That's how it got. I got hooked on that by that uh, movie, oddly enough. And then found out it was theatrical performance and went, how? How is that a thing? Disney is wonderful. It's a magical place. It just happens to be a giant corporation that sucks up everything. <laughs> I mean, that's just... That's just Sweeney Todd, there we go. Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street. I'm fairly certain if I sing Disney songs, they can't really do the copyright thing because I'm not playing their song. I'm just mentioning it. Yes, hit the like. Uh, you can't see it because it's under the banner, but there, oop, there it is. See, like. And I actually made it look like the freaking... Uh, YouTube like and not the freak the freaking freaking it looks like the YouTube like and not like the oh, too many likes and doesn't look like the Facebook like because that annoys the hell at me have you ever noticed that lots of people have a like button but it's a Facebook like button I don't know why that bothers me lots of things bother me what else is new and Tigger I gotta get this on in my head why Magic. My brother was in Disney World just a little while ago, a madman. Oh no, I can't have that happen. One. Uh, well, I wouldn't mind that, except for the fact that I would have to deal with the delivery driver, and that would freak me out to no end, because that would be dealing with another human being, and I don't like doing that. <laughs> Plus, I'm in an apartment building. It makes it, like, as a, as someone who was a pizza delivery driver, one of the worst places you can go is an apartment building, because you get in there, if you're lucky, because <laughs> you have to get buzzed in, and then you have to figure out where the person is in a giant building filled with 100 apartments. It's... I've had to help more than one delivery person find a place if I happen to see them. I'm like, where the hell is this? And I'm like, I think it's over here. But uh, even with that, there are certain places in this apartment complex I'm not sure of because there are people who live outside and there are people who live inside and there are different numbers per floor. It's a little confusing, to say the least. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, God, that drives me crazy. Oh, oh sweetie Todd. I'm trying to think of a good song now. I don't know if he in the uh, like pub shanties. I feel like I should. Other than parting glass, and that's not exactly a pub shanty. That's more of a death <laughs> shanty. I had to sing that at a funeral for my music teacher. That's why I can't sing that easily because. That was rough. Uh, losing her was losing a part of my soul. She helped me learn to sing and uh, encouraged me to sing for others. That's why I sometimes do it here. But I don't want to do it too often because there's one thing I don't want to be. It's the guy who sings with the mustache or the mustache who sings or the guy with the mustache who sings. That would be bad. The birds are chirping. A little breezy out there. What's funny is there's a wide range of songs I could sing, but as soon as I start thinking about a song I want to sing, boop, boop, everything I know is gone. Oh, what was it? I know Old Man River. I know 
Another musical that pe probably people don't like. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one likes that song. <laughs> I'm not going to sing that one because it's long. And it's three verses at least. And I got a dog. It's been running down the hallway. I haven't finished my whiskey yet. Damn it. I know what I'm doing. I promise. This is a channel strictly about whiskey. It's all I ever talk about. I don't get distracted ever. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. You know, it's funny. It's reminding me of Four Roses. It's got a kind of a uh, baking spot. I drank too fast. Send yourself, right? It's got that baking spice thing. Went down the wrong way, I swear. Mmm. Mmm. Also reasons why I don't bottle chug. Good God. Ah. On to whiskey number two of the evening of three. Three and no more. Think not of four. Five is right out. I gotta stop doing that. Mm. Mm. Right. Number number B. <clears throat> yeah. Tyrone B. Russell's Reserve. And again, we're going to go look at Rare Bird 101's take on this. But again, and again, and again, this is just for that area. And it's actually about a specific bottle. So it may not be, it may be nothing like it. So there you go. He goes in Tyrone E. Tyrone. I feel weird saying Tyrone, but that's what it is. Tyrone E, Tyrone G. And I have a barrel pick by him. That's what I'm leading into here. Uh, I'm not just picking up his stuff because, but one of these samples I was given is from Rare Bird 101. It's one of his picks. That's Russell's Reserve 2020 S. Doesn't say Tyrone on here, so I have no idea if that's the same thing or not. But it does say S on it. There you go. Here we are. Russell's Reserve number B. Shizen B. Ooh. Tiny bottles. Cause me grief. I hope that sounds good. <laughs> Holding it right next to the mic so it sounds good. Give me all the whiskey in my Glen Cairn, you SOB. There we go. Now I got Disney songs stuck in my head. Although they were there before. So... There you go. I'm trying to think of a Mother's Day song. Does anyone know any Mother's Day songs? God damn. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Well, I can, but it's not exactly a Mother's Day song. Mother, tell your children not to look my way. Tell your children not to hear my words, what they mean, what they say. Mother. <laughs> I'm not sure if those are the lyrics. Mother. I <laughs> hurt myself. Yeah, Disney karaoke music. Copyright strike. Boom. What is it? Newsies? Is that is that right, Disney? I think they own that. So that's what they call a family. Mother, daughter, father, son. Oh, well, wait. Next words. Looks like everything you heard about is true. So you ain't got any family. And he says you needed one. Ain't you glad nobody's waiting up for you? When I dream on my own, I'm alone, but I ain't lonely. For a dreamer, night's the only time of day. <clears throat> I hit the low notes and I hurt myself. That song stuck in my head now. When the city's finally sleeping and my thoughts begin to stray. And I'm on a boat that's bound for Santa Fe. It's a train. <whistles> like I'm gonna lift. God damn it. Color. It looks like the last one. Big surprise. 
Let's look at it. Beautiful. Ooh. It's not as prominent as the other one. The last one, it was like spices galore at the start, but this one's more like molasses or something. Or something. A lot of words I need to work out of my vocabulary. The one being like, and a lot of the, uh, what are they called? Uncertain words, like or something, <laughs> or but I'm not sure. That kind of stuff. Stuff that drags my consciousness into oblivion. I don't need that. No more pop ups. Instagram likes to pop up stuff to me, which is great. It's nice to see Instagram being like, people like your things. It's like, yay, stop bothering me. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a YouTube celebrity and an Instagram celebrity and uh, influencer, and I'm gonna make billions of dollars and I'm gonna have a shoe deal. I don't know why, but that's something that people do. And eventually I'm gonna be one of those people that does stupid shit because I've lost control of my life. <laughs> Like boxing, or what else do people do? I would love to make my own whiskey pick, though. That's not a bad thing. Like other whiskey tube channels doing barrel picks, I think that is just perfect. Oh, wait, I could transfer over to Twitch, and then I'd be even more of a celebrity. These are things that'll never happen. It's okay, I'm joking. I'm going to be in the movies uh, and on the radio, although no one knows what radio is anymore. I'm going to start a podcast. That's a thing. I'll be on all the podcasts and all the whiskey tube channels. And what else? Although people, people have definitely sent me samples and bottles, and that's still something I can't quite get used to. Thank you for that. Like these samples I'm having right now were sent to me. I don't know what that is. Ugh. That does taste significantly different than the other one. What the hell? It's drier. Drier. It is drier on the palate. <laughs> I have the tasting notes up. Again, for the specific barrel pick, which is not the one I have in the glass. Whatever, it's the only thing I can figure out. I still have the pitcher thing. The pitcher thing being the Whiskey Smiths. I'm blaming Daniel Whitney King for this. He will never watch this video. So, video? Schwidio, so it's fine. I'm assuming these are all 10 years. I am mildly concerned because I don't know the proof. Does anyone here know what the regular proof for Russell's 10 is? Is it like 43, 46? 40. I'd be surprised if it was 40, honestly. But is it 50? Because if it's 50, I have a problem. And it'll be showing up in about 30 minutes. I don't have a watch on. It's not charged yet. True. But if you want to send me a bunch, like, every couple of months, I'm cool with that. Uh, as, I, as I've mentioned plenty of times, I'm at the point in my life of, as a whiskey tube personality where I have uh, too many bottles. And actually, one of the reasons I was cleaning off the shelving I have over here, one, it's just junk. It's just stuff. Uh, at 40 years old, I think you have to kind of reassess your belongings and be like, why the fuck do I have all this shit? <clears throat> Uh, that became very apparent with the last year and the pandemic where I'm just looking around my apartment going, why? Why is this? <laughs> why? Oh, crap. I mean, good. <laughs> I had a feeling these are kind of high up there. Couldn't tell. Uh, although the first one was a little hot on the taste there, but... Um, <laughs> My initial thoughts were, oh, yeah, I can drink four, I can drink three uh, 40 proof whiskeys in three hours, no problem. Now it's like 350 something proof whiskeys. That's the, that's the sensation I'm going to start feeling it soon. All right, let's look over this chart. I'm sorry you can't see it, but I didn't bring it up on the thing. I guess I can remove my overlay, although, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
because the YouTube overlords demand your thumbs. You peons. That's not what I mean. They said you're peons, and they are the YouTube overlords. I'm so sorry. It's not me. It's them. They demand them. They demand them, and they demand me to make more content. They have the whips, and the chains, and the hellfire. <clears throat> I assume. And once again, hi, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Day. I'd be terrified if people are like, oh, look, a woman on this stream. Let's go in and check. It's my mom, dude. Chill out. What the hell? <laughs> Wrong with you. Uh, oh, I got rid of the overlay. Good. You can see my name now. It's no longer Rian. And the Kilco thing. And remember, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Blech. That'll get you, you know, some basic info most of the time. I still have to figure out stuff. Like, I even I even asked patrons. I'm like, what do you want to see here? Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. It's like, here's a responsibility. These people are giving you money. Do something. Have fun. At some point, I'm going to do private live streams. And private, I mean, you know, like an hour for the people who are giving like 50 or or $100 every month because... <laughs> I think the, the the lowest for that is twenty dollars. Like if you give me twenty dollars a month, I could probably do a live stream for you. But since we're only at one person with that right now, you shall remain nameless. Uh, that'd be a bit weird. <laughs> be like them in chat. And that's it. Uh, technically, if you want to get into genetics, I am genetically more like my mother, except I'm technically more like my mother than brother. Uh, who unfortunately died a few years ago. Well, sweet. And uh, my, well, like just genetics wise, I am genetically more like my mother. It's like 52%, I think. And in general, I think I have the personality of my mother a little bit. Well, actually, no, I don't. I have the personality of my father-ish. And my brother has more of the personality of my mother, uh, more outgoing. And uh, well, I'd just say they like being the center of attention is the nicest way to put that. Uh, well, my father's a little more reserved and quiet and often just does his own thing. Like with me, I am like his thing, my father, he started making audiobooks like way back before it was a thing. Cassettes, check that, reel to reel, then to cassettes. And then uh, he switched to CDs for a little while and then he found out Audible was a thing and now he's on Audible. So if you want to give my father money and get audiobooks in return... The, the links are down below, at least for the uh, Whiskey Women book. Because that is how I started into whiskey. I will say it again. Uh, Fred Minnick's audiobook is what me and my father worked on. Uh, he heard about something called Lefroig, and we both got a little curious about the weirdness of whiskey. And now I'm doing my own thing, much like him. He made his own recording business, Jimson Recordings. And I have made my own whiskey tube channel, Kilco Whiskey Musings. Although I just wanted to call it Kill for the Kilco for the longest time. People suggested I call it Whiskey Musings or Whiskey Something. Uh, some people have even said just call it Whiskey Musings. Then I would be like every other whiskey channel on there, which whiskey in another word. And I know from experience when you're in a chat with whiskey folk on a whiskey stream and you want to say hi to some other whiskey tuber, you know, it's like at whiskey. <laughs> a list of names show up. And I would rather not be a part of that just now. I could give it a test run someday and just like take out the Kilco and call myself Whiskey Musings. Uh, if I got like 100 subscribers within a couple weeks, I might have to stick for it, stick with it for a while. But I'm hesitant to do so because even though this is a smaller YouTube channel with a smaller stream base in general, I'm okay with that. It's easier to keep track of stuff. Uh, I always feel, well, I don't feel that, but there is that fear, and I'm certain I've said this on other streams, that when you get to be a bigger channel, you can't keep up with the chat. And the only way for people to get your attention is to give you money, which great, you know, great. That'd be great. But you know, I don't want to, I don't want people to feel like they have to super chat me just to get my attention and have me read their comment kind of thing. This is fine. And this is me forgetting to unclick that. So there you go. Well, here's the funny thing though. The mustache. I have no idea where I got that from. That was not planned. 
And uh, one of the funnier things about my high school picture, which I should get a, I should, you know, have a picture of it now that I can do that to show the audience. When I was in high school, I decided the funny thing to do for my senior pick would be to just like grow out the little, little fuzz on my, on my upper lip because I just never did that before. And, and I was just starting to get facial hair. So what the hell? So that's how my senior photo looks. I'm just like, hey, rocking the hairs on my, on my face there. Little knowing years down the line, I would have this thing, this, this caterpillar looking at my face constantly. I can see it. I can see it. It's hard to believe, but I can. It's like something that's always there looking back at me. Right, onto the whiskey. This is a whiskey channel, I promise. Oh, yeah. Mr. Whiskey Shit School on late. Actually, technically, it's after a destination bourbon. If he's even going live tonight. Right? Fresh nitrate. I almost clicked a button to see what happened. Hmm. Yeah, something different about that. I got a char note. That's unexpected. It still burns. Oh, it's right here. This is my problem area. Unsurprisingly, it's right where the stain is. But yeah, right here. Ugh. I don't know if it's acid reflux or whatever. No one, no one really knows. What? That is a good price. And also, welcome to Morris. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. We've got everything you want. I don't know the words. <clears throat> to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. I am very good at rambling on about things, I promise. And just going. Like, I get lost. To the point where I go, what was I talking about? I don't know. It's, jo it's joyful. I almost went to 23 and me, so I can tell you more. I'm I'm Irish, heritage wise. Surprise! <laughs> if the freckles and pale skin didn't give it away, I know. I also have a place in my heart for Irish whiskey, so I love that. I have to figure out what corn sweetness is like. Well, I'm certain it's in here sometimes, but. I found I dislike it sometimes as well. Don't you dare. Not that you could, but no. <laughs> Again, keep in mind, I do not want to interact with other people, and especially delivery drivers, because I don't want to send them through the torture of trying to get in this building and find my apartment. In fact, normally, if I ever do that, which I don't anymore... I would honestly tell the delivery driver to meet me outside so they wouldn't even have to come in the building. They don't have to deal with any of this shit. That was before 2020. Now I don't want to see anyone or be around people ever. Look at chairs being weird. I have to say, there seems to be a recurring caramel note in a lot of these. You got raisin off this one? What is going on? Ooh, corn syrup. There's a good one. I can understand corn syrup. Very sugary sweet kind of thing. Almost artificial, except not. We have cabbage on here. I'm looking out there. I'm looking at the notes again. If you didn't know, the uh, blame Daniel Whittington. Always blame him. 
That's kind of the theme of the Whiskey Tribe. He told me about whis whiskeysmiths.com. I gave him my email. They let me download their chart. It's helpful, man, just staring at it. Granted, it's not a pretty attractive circle-y thing, but that wasn't really helping me because a lot of the words, I was like, what the hell is that? This one's a little more down to my uh, education level. I don't know. It's easier. It feels easier. Although it has a wine section. It's just Sherry Port, Madeira, and other. It's like, well, uh, <laughs> don't really know what all those are like because I don't drink wine. So, yeah. I'm hanging out in the sweet category at the moment. The caramel is definitely on there. As is honey, raisin, and corn syrup, as I said earlier. I just stare at the camera and go, mm, sniff real hard. Mm hmm. Here in London? Good God, man. I gotta think of London songs. I don't know any. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Done. London song. I'm not even sure what it means if you think about it too much. Sheesh. I'm sure it has some like, disturbing thing about it, like uh, Ring Around the Rosie. If you ever try to figure out what that's about, that's a little scary. Well, I'm going to say this is good, but it's, for whatever reason, it's not as good as the first one, which is strange. Could be just because I had the first one. As, as many of you know, there's a pecking order, if you will, about drinking whiskeys. One will affect the other, and even if I drink water to cleanse the palate, it's not going to really fix everything. Ha, good stuff. Water is my favorite. I won't lie. I always like whiskey, but water is always going to top that just because if I don't drink it, I die. So there's that. I think I'm getting a little bit of leather on this. On the first one, I swear I was getting like eucalyptus or some kind of weird mint thing. Cockney this. You know, it's really fun. If you want to look up something crazy, I didn't actually listen to this. I just crossed my path for like two seconds and now it's stuck in there. Uh, Jean, I call him John Luc Picard. Patrick Stewart uh, does it's like poetry or something in his home dialect, and it is probably very hard to understand. Again, it crossed my path for like two seconds. I didn't. I don't remember if I watched the video or not, but it's out there. We talk like this in talk time, and you can't quite understand what he's saying. Except it's much worse. It's like actual crazy British accent where it's just like, what did you just say? I don't understand. The problem is I start to like, I meld my accents together because uh, I've listened to Scotch Down Under talk enough times. I've seen enough of uh, Crocodile Dundee. Uh, I did grow up with that uh, bloke who was chasing around crocodiles for quite a while. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. It's in there. I can't find it right now. It's called the Crocodile Hunter. Bloody hell, what's his name? Crikey. Sorry. I know his name, and that's going to bother me. Uh, someone tell me, then I can stop thinking about it. James, I'll assume anyone. Steve Owen, thank you. Goddamn. Hi, DC. That was bothering me. 
Uh, wherever it sounds the worst, I suppose. Steve Irwin, yeah, we got it. We got it, lads. Lads? Gents? What do they say down there for a group of people? Well, it probably starts with a C word. I'm not going to say that. What other accents can I do? Irish is a hard one. I usually use O'Brien's accent slightly. Yeah, from Star Trek Deep Space Nine slash Star Trek uh, Enterprise. It's not even a good Irish accent. It's like a brogue of some sort. Faith and Begora. <laughs> no. I think it was still my baby. How they ate your baby? I don't know. Probably still old. I can do a bad one. And I'm not even sure if it's Scottish. Oh, wait. No, I've tried to do this. Every time I think of a Scottish accent, I think of Roy. And that makes it so much harder to do because then I feel like I'm trying to... Like, I can't make fun of Roy. But I love his accent. Hello, whiskey folk. You know, that's like one of the things he says all the time. Fantastic. He says fantastic a lot. I'm glad to have you all here today. No, I sound like an old lady. Hello. <laughs> uh, now, Scottish is hard because I, I equate it with Roy's accent, and that's just hard to duplicate because he has such a he's such a kind soul. Uh, I, don't, I feel bad if I try to do a Scottish accent that sounds like him. I can do a bad one. Like uh, freaking one of the Simpsons guy. Ah! <laughs> you wee lads. Get out of here. No, I'm slipping into Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do it now! Who are you? Russian Jamaican? What the hell is that? Russian Jamaican is like, Yaman. Jaman? Uh, who's that? I should know who that is. I know who that is. Bob Marley? That sounds about right. I like Bob Marley's music. To an extent. Can't listen to it all the time. Billy Connolly, I swear I've heard that name before. Older gentleman, white hair, mustache, angry. That's what came to mind. What other accents do I have in there? What's really hard to differentiate is an Australian accent, and then a New Zealand accent. And they're so close together, they're very similar, but there's slight differences. I can't think of what to do now. I'm like, New Zealand accent, go. <laughs> just that's, that's what happens in my brain, just static. Ooh, there's one. That's British, though. That's bad British, by the way. Like, really bad. Hello, Gabna. Chim chiminy, chim chiminy, chim chim chiru. That's, that's the major problem there. One of the first British accents I can remember is watching Mary Poppins and uh, hearing Dick Van Dyke do a terrible accent. Terrible. Sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Shim chimney, shim chimney, shim shim cherie. I'm switching songs. Good luck will rub off when I shake hands with you. Da -da 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 there you go. That's it. That explains my love of Irish whiskey. I love whiskey in general, but. I have a nice little place in my heart for Irish whiskey. Red Spot and Green Spot also made that possible because, damn, that's some good stuff. Now I need to look up the song. Son of a biscuit. First whiskey. God damn it. I'm so good at this. Granted, I have another hour and a half. Another? Another hour and a half. But still. Oh, you know what? That's another thing. If I think of Still It, 
uh, from, well, still it has a YouTube channel. You might know what it is. He does distilling. Surprise. But he is a, he has a bit of an accent too. It's not quite, it's not quite like, you know, Australian, but he does have one a little bit. Can I replicate it right now? Not really. Not really. Where's my voice going with this? Dear Jeeves, get me some more whiskey, man. I'm clearly not sober. Probably. I feel like I've seen some of his stuff before. Where he's just like, ah! He's a little abrasive, but... I'm trying to think of the last time I saw any kind of comedian. Did you? You might have. I'd have to go check. <laughs> I think we were talking about Red Spot a little while ago. Someone was thinking of sending me Red Spot. It might have been you. But I had a whole bottle at one point in time for $125, and I was mildly disappointed. Still good. Still drank the whole thing, but wasn't worth $125 bucks in my mind, so there you go. On to the tasting notes of this Tyrone B. Uh, Cara of Rare Bird 101. Again, this is for a specific bottle. So it's not going to be the same, but I like to use it as a reference. Clear my bases there. So the tasting notes he has for Tyrone B. Now. Uh, nutty caramel bar. Mm, warm vanilla pudding. Oh, Cookie dough. Ooh. I'm just going to make noises after I say anything. Brown sugar and nutmeg. Salted caramel. Butter toffee. Molasses. Medium long finish. With burnt sugar, vanilla extract, charred oak, cinnamon, peppery spice. Candy bar and cookie dough, lover's delight. Well, I like both of those things, so. We shall see. Hmm. You said. Granted, I would rather have another green spot. And, unfortunately, I also want to try their... Uh, the terrible thing is I found out green spot has other types of green spot. <gasps> I don't get nutty off this. Vanilla? Sure. Vanilla pudding? Not sure. Cookie dough? I wish. Although it is very... Now, now that I'm reading that, of course, it is very like sugary-ish. So I can imagine cookie dough, but I can't... Like, not chocolate chip cookie dough, just regular the cookie dough itself. The brown sugar as well. Sounds good. Nutmeg, why not? Butter toffee. Molasses. Did I say molasses? I feel like I did. I don't remember. This is why it's on video. God damn it, I have Chim Chim and you stuck in my head. Oh my god, give me the blue spot. Oh. Here's the thing. I don't even know if I like the blue spot, but I want it because it's a high proof Irish. Let's see it. It's the only thing I need to hear is higher proof Irish. What? Give it now. What is it? I want it. <laughs> ah, I could get it, but it would be really expensive. Right? Oh, chateau. Just the fact that it says chateau and I on it. I want it. I can do a. I can do a horrible French accent too, but that's just me ripping off Pepe Le Pew. Oh, ma chérie. Or, uh, or the uh, candlestick in Beauty and the Beast. Be our guest and be our guest. <laughs> Shit, another song stuck in my head. This is all your fault now. Let's see if I can find... Let's do some research while we're here. I mull over this whiskey, which is tasty as hell. As hell? It's tasty. Yum. <laughs> In short, yum. Bourbon, if I welcome to the show. We have had too much whiskey tonight. No, we haven't. I can still talk, sort of. And it's bourbon night is not going on tonight, so I get to stream for an extra hour. Ha <laughs> ha! Ow. Shoot. 
The thing is, the store I go to all the time doesn't even have. It has like green spot and has it in a locker, in like the closed locked era. Words. It has it behind a glass case, which is irritating to me. And it's seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. Wow, it's a lot. They also have a Four Roses Barrel Proof Private Select for seventy dollars. So if you'd like to give me seventy dollars, Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon are below. Still working on getting the uh, Maker's Mark that is there. This S E O A S A E S A E O one zero one S A E. Hey now, hey now, what you do? I don't know where that came from. F A E O one. Damn it. Oh, I see the thing before I see the thing. Blah, blah, blah. They don't carry the spots. That's why. It's not like they have green spot, yellow spot, red spot out on the shelf. They have a green spot, one bottle behind a glass case. Because normally they don't carry it. I could get the blue spot through them, but I'd want to know the price first. And I'm sure it would be well over $100. And I don't have that, so I don't want to ask. It's one of those. It's like, I'd like to ask about it, but I'm not going to buy it, so... Bleh. Hey now, hey now. Do it. F-A-E-01, thank you. It's the fairy whiskey. Fay. And I am curious about this goddamn Four Roses Barrel Proof Private Select, because I've heard things, and I like Four Roses... And I did buy this. I did the the small batch select, and that was real good. I might even have some of that later tonight. <laughs> Drink more water, folks. So yeah, the FAEO one is something that's tentatively on my list if I can raise seventy dollars on here at some point. Uh, again, I still have to go over the stuff that the, the that was the donators like you, like uh, oh, what did I say? Viewers like you. If you haven't noticed, if you look below, I kind of ripped off the old PBS thing or whatever it was. What is it? This video, this show, is made possible by viewers like you. I love that saying, so I snagged it. Uh, this channel runs on donations from viewers like you. Because it's true, as I said. But I still have the Maker's Mark Select thing back here. Show it again just to show that I'm an official whiskey tuber and people give me money to do things. There we go. This will be reviewed hopefully all three this week. No promises, though, because if I have a bad day, like if my mental health just decides to tank, uh, I can't guarantee I'll finish it. But I want to drink them. Like, I haven't been putting it off because I want to. I just have, I had like uh, last week being sick of mine. I couldn't pass up trying that damn tequila from The Rock. A.K.A. John, wait, Dwayne Johnson? Sure. Yeah. And if you haven't watched that video, go do it. And give it a like and all that nonsense. Please and thank you. Don't tell me that. Ugh. Oh, my God. Red Breast 27? Have I had Red Breast 27? Shoot. I think I have. JJ, do you have a Redbreast 27? Because I did do, I do recall doing a Redbreast. Uh, you probably did send me a 15. Actually, no, it's, it's all coming back to me now. I did a Irish whiskey stream. It was Redbreast, and it was like crazy stuff. It was, I think the cash strength was in there, or maybe it was just the 12. So like the 12, the 15, and the 27, something random like that. No, the 21 is in there. That's right. Yeah. Okay, it was the 21. Bam. I have a memory bank. It's just it's foggy all the time. I don't remember what I had for breakfast. I had a muffin. Ha, huh. I do remember. It was good. It was a double chocolate muffin. Oh, God. It was basically cake for breakfast. But, yes, the 21 year, that was an, that was an experience, I got to say. And I did it against the 15 and something else. I don't quite remember what. But, yeah, that was 
again, plenty of whiskeys that I've tried where I'm just like, how the hell did I even get this to try? 21 being one of those. So thank you again for sending me that. Now that you're sending me more, you're insane. What are you doing? Keep it up. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you to stop. But having a 21, that's, that's again, that's a bottle I will never have. Just as far as my brain is concerned right now, my uh, ability to succeed is limited. Because I have an inherent, uh, I have an inherent fear of success. Uh, like with, I could use the people that are going to be on here. Not use, they would just be themselves, a, a lure to get other people to watch the stream. But I don't want to do that because it may get a lot of subscribers. That may freak me out a little. I, I kind of like going slow and steady. I would still love to hit a thousand, and we're kind of, you know, baby steps. And as I said earlier, I don't want to get to the point where it's just suddenly I have a thousand subs and everything feels out of control. I believe I talked with this, talked with this, talked, talked with Shayla on this topic because her channel became successful like in a year, less than a year. And mine has been out for, well, mine started in September of 2019 officially. But really, it's only been going for a fish, like actual video content for a little over a year. Though I have made a lot of uh, December videos. I did the Drinks by the Dram. What the hell was it? I think it was Drinks by the Dram. It's, in, it's on the other side of the ocean. They don't even come and do stuff here anymore, so that's that. And I did the... The other whiskey advent calendar that the tribe did. Good God, my brain, I swear. How do I even function? It was mostly scotch, though. I can't remember what that was. Oh, my gosh. Please do. That'd be amazing. I know it was It was like a fruit bomb. The 21 was a whole different animal. And uh, I didn't even, like, if someone gave me that and said, this is Irish whiskey, I'd be like, you're what? <laughs> I've never had an Irish whiskey like this before. Look out. Duck and cover. Bourbon wrench, what are you doing? I'm going for an extra hour unless you happen to go live in like 30 minutes. I don't have my watch on. I know it's bourbon night. is isn't going live tonight, so I thought, well, I can do a three-hour stream, I guess. Hey, good. Fitbit is now fully charged. Ooh, hey, hang on. Hang on a second. I, I don't want to unplug my microphone. That would make things kind of awkward. There we go. He doesn't. I mean, I mean, he's big into scotches, so I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. Oh, there you go. A little, a little slippery, as it were. I've been singing random songs all night and uh, drinking lots of whiskey. Oh, I got less than fifteen minutes to finish this. Shit. I mean, uh, no problem. And I've been doing a lot of accents. People are big on the accents right now. I don't know why, because sometimes I do this one, and I still have yet to figure out exactly where it is from. I feel as if this is a spoof of a person on a movie of some sort. I don't know which one, though. So you tell me if this sounds familiar uh, to you. I have no idea. I can do a good uh, Swedish. Yeah, Hershkibber. Chibi, shibber, heep, heep, shibber, dee, shibber, shibber, chibi, shibber. Mmm. It's good. Oh, it's spicy. Hello. Oh, my God. I can only imagine. The dream cask is my dream. I wanted to try that when I went to. The Whiskey Vault in 2019, but unfortunately, slash fortunately, um, Brad, who was the one who donated to the vault, he gave it, he was pouring it for people at the Whiskey, or the Bastards Ball that year. So it was gone because uh, the Bastards Ball of 2019 was in October, I think, and I was there in November. So near miss. But that's okay. I figure if I was meant to try the uh, dream cask of red rust it'll somehow show up i like to say with most whiskeys like a lot of whiskeys i've tried i didn't expect to ever try ever like i still have the log of bull and 11 
Offerman edition here. Never expected to try that one because that bottle was expensive. Trev, people are saying they want to know when I have another mystery guest. So, and I told them soon. It's true. There's there's one person who's mentioned maybe being on here next Sunday, but I'm not going to hold them to that. And I'm only mentioning it casually because I don't think it'll happen. But we'll see. Could be wrong. Sample Sunday next week could be very different. Who knows? I don't. No. Did your mom drink too much, Trev? No, oh, Jim, I have. Uh, I had the, this was on, God, was it last week? I don't remember. I did open up the Log Bull and 11, 11 Offerman Edition last, hmm, I want to say last week, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Recently, look for the most recent stream that says Scotch Night, or It's Scotch Night, because I tried a bunch of peated scotches that night, just to try them. I finished the, uh, <laughs> still on my dad. The empty one here is the Colila 12 is the winner of that one, a.k.a. I drank it all. I'm going to just say a.k.a. for everything. And the other two I had was Lagavulin and Offerman Edition and the Bunahaban, but I didn't finish those that night. They're still here. I will drink them at one point. Don't worry. Oh, good. Good, good, good. No one likes a hangover. Ugh. See, Trav, I've somehow seduced your viewers into my channel. I don't know how. I don't play the drums. Uh, I'm not in the army, or wasn't in the army. Uh, I have a limited personality. I can do accents and I sing. That might count for something. I don't know. I have a mustache. Maybe that's it. I have no idea. I got to find this song. It's going to bother me. I'm sorry. I got to finish this whiskey, too, because I'm almost at another hour up. <laughs> no, no, no problem. Mm. Ah, here we go. I'm sorry in advance, but I want to get this done. And if I get flagged for this, it's going to be hysterical. Chim chimini chim chimini chim chim chiri. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim chimini chim chimini chim chim chiru. Good luck will rub off when I shake hands with you. Or blow me a kiss. And that's lucky too. Now as the ladder of life has been rung, you may think a sweep's on the bottomless rung. Though I spend me times in the ashes and smoke, in this old wide world there's no happier bloke. Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim chiri, a sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim chiru, good luck will rub off if I shake hands with you. Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim chiri. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim chiru. Good luck will rub off when I shake hands with you. Our shoes we bristles with pride, yes I do. A broom for the shaft and a broom for the flu. Up where the smoke is all billowed and curled. Between pavement and stars is a chimney sweep world. When there's hardly no day, there's hardly no night. Things half in shadow and halfway in light. On the rooftops of London, Cool, what a sight. Jim, 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 Jim. All right, I want to get to that part. That's my favorite part where he goes all. Waxing nostalgia. Ugh. 
That song still stuck in my head. Damn it. Is it? I have no problem with orange juice. I have a problem with milk and anything that is uh, creamy, we'll say. Like, I like a good old uh, cold brew with some uh, sweet cream on top. <laughs> Absolutely everywhere. Oh, no, no, no. Another one that's good is uh, bed knobs and broomsticks. Those are like classics in my head. If you've ever watched bed knobs and broomsticks, you'll know why. Oh, the pulp. I get pulp free. There you go. That, that would be a problem. That's probably why I get pulp free. Just because of that. That'd be, oh. I hadn't thought of that. It's a good thing I do drink the orange juice without pulp because that would be kind of gross. Now I have milk problems. I have cream problems. I have, what else? Ice cream, especially. That can be a problem. Oh, the problems we lead in life as a mustacher, mustache -y, mustache wearer, caterpillar thing. I don't know. Yeah. I have to say that. If you live with a mustache, you will live in, in harmony with the world of the stash. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Must finish the whiskey. I promise I will. Mmm. Cheech, welcome. Now that you're here, I can do this one more time. I'm sorry for you, those of you who have been here the whole time. And uh, also, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm not going to get tired of doing it anytime soon. Also, this broadcast brought to you by my mother when she was like 21. My mom. She's not here right now. She is actually in Vermont with my father having a lovely time. <sighs> that is the main reason I trim. Because I was like, oh, I'll just let it grow. It'll be fine. It started to go into my mouth and get stuck in my teeth. No. <laughs> no, thank you. I gave it a shot. I did. I was like, I'll just let it grow. And it's like, I'm going to enter your mouth. So, no, I don't think so. Welcome to the world of live streaming, Cheech, where you are full of regret and mistakes, and it's on video. Slash film. Slash it's recorded online forever. Much like tonight, as I am going into my third hour. Because it's bourbon, I isn't going live. Also, I have my watch on now. Bonus points if you noticed. I'm trying to think of another song to sing. That isn't Disney, and I'm having problems. JJ, enjoy the rest of your evening. Tuesday or Wednesday? Maybe. Usually, I'm going to try to put out an emphasis on try. I'm going to try to put out a video on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's the plan. That might not happen at all, because the thing in my head doesn't always work like it should. Well, there's trouble. What are you doing here? Klein's not going live either? Shit. I'm not going four hours. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Don't even think about it. I am not scotched down under. I can barely last for two hours, let alone three. Cheech, you go live. Do it. Why isn't he going? Why isn't... Uh, I can't think. Why isn't Klein going live? What the hell? Mother's Day? Is it because of Mother's Day? It's because of Mother's Day. Isn't it? He's married, too. Does he have kids? I think he does. I don't know. I don't pay enough attention. You know why? Because attention is a cost that I cannot afford as a, someone with an ADHD brain. Why? <coughs> Thanks for being here, James. Always a pleasure. Cherry Pie by Warrants. I don't even know if I know that song. Sounds familiar. Do it. Like I'm going till nine, and then it's up for grabs, basically. I could go for four hours, but I would be full of regret and pain. And what the hell's going on? Whiskey Mountains. Hello. Cleaning and packing. 
you're leaving Puerto Rico? Are you back home? I have no idea where you are. Tell us, because I'm confused. Ah, uh, he overdid it. Reasons not to overdo it is because you can't drink. You drink too much, you cannot drink later. Mistakes have been made. I wasn't there for Friday. My brain conked out. I did my stream, and I think I watched a little bit of Trev, like the start of Trev's stream, and then I was just done. That's how my life is. Sometimes my brain goes, oh, you wanted to do something. Too bad. <laughs> out. Always a pleasure to have you, Whiskey Mountain. Thank you for being here. And just for you, because I've only done this about four or five times during the stream. You're welcome. Also, Mother's Day. This is my mother when she was like 21. I love you, Mom. It's this uh, broadcast brought to you by Mom. About to head to Puerto Rico. I thought you went there already. I can't keep track of anything. Have fun. I thought you were there already. I don't know why. No, I didn't. I stopped reading that at some point. I'm like, ding. Why are you digging? Who died? Who did you murder? No, digging into the samples. That'll be fun. I'm going over samples tonight. I failed. I haven't finished this within the two hour mark. Smells good. I am. I decided to pay for the damn thing because Patreon people. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to afford actually doing anything on StreamYard. So, yeah. Oh, there's the other thing. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Overlay. It's still fucked up. I have my uh, subscribe and like button. Apparently, they need to be raised a little bit so this tracker can work. And oh, I have to move your comment. <laughs> But if I do, you can see my name is covered up by the overlay, which is extremely annoying to someone like me. <clears throat> Although I have a feeling most people here know that I am Brian. This is Kilco. I only say it at the start of every freaking video. Because continuity and such. Yeah, I've never been able to do that until now. I had to do like a 30 second countdown, but now, now I can do the proper, hello everyone, this is what we're doing tonight. Bam, video thing. Aquavite does it all the time because he's a professional. And I'm a slob. I mean, I'm a pff, amateur. Yeah, that's the word. No, you don't. Get up. This is a webcam. You're fine. It's fine. The idea is, of course, that if I ever get to the point where I have a... What's the word I want to use here? Excess of money hasn't happened ever in my life, but if it does, great. Then I can spend it on uh, upgrading stuff like cameras and uh, like getting an actual camera instead of webcam. My webcam is wonderful. It's been working for ages and it's fine, but uh, to do better content, you need a better camera. Blah. Paying for StreamYard, just one step in improving everything, man. Man. I forgot how to do this. There we go. Get rid of that. Yeah. <sighs> oh, what did I miss? Oh, what? Give it. Ow. Why is my song stuck in my head? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> yeah, it's not the best. I mean, I get... Uh, how do I put this? How do I put this delicately? I don't want to say I have a certain tolerance or a certain intolerance, I guess, for a certain video quality. But... When I see people who are joining a stream and they're on their phone or on their iPad or on, like, I, I think your, your iPad's fine, 
I haven't watched many of your videos, to be honest, because you're on so late half the time. But it seems like that's a fine uh, quality, but it's other people who are on their cell phones and stuff where I just get, I get twitchy. But it doesn't take much for me, so don't be surprised about that. And more importantly, if there are more than three or four faces, no, I have a limit. It's three. If there are more than three faces on the screen, I start to get real twitchy real fast. Uh, that makes Scotch Down Under stream an interesting experience for me, but what I do there is I actually just start to get lost in my own head, especially if there's a topic. Like when we did um, the pairing video, the pairing stream, where it was what character you think would pair well with what whiskey. I had to think real hard about those questions, so I was at least distracted by that, at the least. Oh, what the, what month is it? Is it April? Is it May? Is it May? Shit, it's probably May, isn't it? Damn it. It is May. So, I will say this now, even though no one will remember, and I won't remember. Schmoozing. I mean, I'm mooching, technically, but that works. Uh, July 7th is my birthday. There you have it. Does that mean anything to anyone here? I have no idea, but uh, I'll be 41. Uh, technically, I'm going to be celebrating my 40th birthday and my 41st birthday because last year I didn't get to do so. <laughs> to be clear, having your 40th birthday last year kind of sucked. <laughs> wasn't awful. I got to spend it with family, but I had planned to do more and uh, just didn't happen. Does anyone know of any good strip clubs? No, that's not true. I don't think I'd go to a strip club. I might. If I'd had enough drinks, I might. There's only one I'd go to around here, though. And there's nothing wrong with going to a strip club. Shut up. Those women, those women are wonderful people, and they do a fabulous job. And that's from the heart. Really, I'm not being sarcastic. That's, that's one of the reasons I go to strip clubs occasionally when I have, which is very rarely. I have been to strip clubs maybe five times in my life. Stop hassling me about it. I like to go off on tangents. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 give me a question and I will go so far down the rabbit hole that I will get lost. <laughs> that's that's how that works. Ah, Chat jumping on me. Yes, yeah, so I like to think my answers were good enough. Uh, but there were some hard ones. Who Like if they threw Guinan in there, I'd be so screwed. Quark was pretty hard, but I had an idea already. Uh, Patrick Stewart or John Luke, that was a hard one because everyone equates it with wine. Lore was an easy one in my head, but I was not fast enough. What else? What else did we do? We had um, Cisco. Cisco was a tough one because that, that I had to like equate a bunch of things for him. He's a chef, he's a captain, he's from New Orleans. That made it real hard being from New Orleans. I don't, they got food. Down there that I've never tasted in my life. Urban she is going to Puerto Rico. I don't know if that's how you say Puerto Rico, but it felt good. I've watched Deep Space Nine at least three times in the past year. So thankfully, that character was pretty well placed in my mind. Granted, she was a background character. Granted, she was Nog's wife? No, wrong one. Hold on. What the hell is Quark's brother's name? I've watched this three times in the past year. Rom. Did I say Rom? God damn it, my brain doesn't want to function right now. Anyway, yeah, the other Frankie's wife. Well, she was a decent enough character. She was beautiful. And... Double girl, so money. I don't even remember what I said. Wow, my brain doesn't work ever. Thank you. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, thing. No, then there's the, it sounds like that would be easy, but then I wouldn't know what's going on, so I'd freak out about that. I can't win. Like, I can't watch streams even where there's more than one face. Like, three faces max. Any more than that, I immediately, ah, nope. It's hard to describe it to people, but it's that kind of feeling where I just immediately 
flinch away from it in a sense. It sucks, but oh well. I've gotten I, I live with it. It's fine. What was wrong? I feel like I said the wrong name first. Watch it again. There's so many good episodes. I am currently in the middle of uh, season six, I think. It's where the Dominion showed up. And uh, the Cardassians have just recently taken DS9. Spoilers! Sorry, spoilers if you haven't watched this. Spoilers. There you go. Side trip to Cheech. It's fine. Ouch. Excuse me. Does it? That's the other thing. It's not only that there are faces on the screen, it's that people... I'm pretty sure I have sensory things and talking over... Like, people talking over other people and lots of noise. Like, I have problems in restaurants because of the constant chatter and people overlapping voices and shit. It's, it's, it's hard to make other people understand it because they're not even aware of it most of the time. Like people will go to a restaurant and it's just background noise. But to me, it's a bunch of conversations that I'm trying not to listen to at the same time. And I can't quite do that very well. It sucks, but, you know, I live with it. I deal with it. Whatever. Say la vie and such. Let's finish this. I'm ten, I'm 10 minutes overdue with this one. We're talking whiskey talk. We're definitely not talking Star Trek or accents or music. It's fine. My channel, I do what I want. Ah. That's some good shit. As a uh, woo. Oh, I can feel that one go down. As Brianna says, it makes me feel like a man. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Right here. Damn was. Ah. You can talk about Star Trek all you want, Whiskey Mountain. That's that's why that's one of the reasons I like you, because I can nerd out. Uh, tonight's selection has been uh, Russell's Reserve, twenty twenty Tyrone A. Tyrone Tyrone apparently is a Rick House. Shut up, uh, Rick House for um, Wild Turkey products, and we have Russell's Reserve Tyrone B. So I think it's the same brick house, but different areas. I don't quite understand it very well, but I tried to get in touch with uh, Rare Bird 101, but this was like half an hour before I actually started the stream, so I didn't hear back from him, and that's fine. Uh, because this next sample, believe it or not, and I just missed picking it up, that's fun. Russell's Reserve, Rare Bird 101, his pick. I know you're all jealous. Uh, that that's the main reason I wanted to get in touch with them and be like, what do you think? What is this about? You liked it. You bought it. You picked it. What the hell? But it says S on it. Now, is it Tyrone S? I don't know. But judging from the theme of the evening, I'm going to assume it is. And more importantly, on his website, which is unsurprisingly, rarebird101.com, he has a Tyrone S select selection is it his bottle i don't think so is it as close as i can get in the moment yes and i may sing a number of song because i'm feeling shanty-ish i'm trying to pick a good song though Ooh. i guess that's the weird part okay let's do a little research let's research with the research uh wild turkey Tyrone Rickhouse. I could have just scrolled up though, because Rare Bird definitely has that there. And I'm clicking on the same thing I was just on. All right. I'm frequently asked which Rickhouse is best. Of course, there's no simple best wild turkey Rickhouse for aging whiskey. It's all driven by unpredictability of Mother Nature and the vast subjectivity of personal preference. Uh, going on. Blah, 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 blah. 
I'll be sharing tasting notes from all five Tyrone Rickhouses from which selections were available in 2020. So I guess there's more than one. T-Y-R-O-N-E. Tyrone could mean something specifically, but I have no idea. And I'm glad I read that because it means there's more than one, which is probably what the ABS stuff means. And I'm assuming this is S because why not? Who has a Patreon? I have a Patreon. Like and subscribe. I don't have my thing over. Overlay. Blah. But do it. I need more Patreon people so I can do more things with the channel and buy whiskey. It's not really why. But you can always donate to the channel or PayPal or Venmo. Or, I mean, if you want to. I'm not going to make you. It has to be an if you want, because that's the only reason anyone should do anything. Uh, unfortunately, we live in a world where people are often doing things they don't want to, and it makes me sad in my soul. So don't do that. Only do things you want, especially with this channel. Especially with this channel. I'm trying to think of another song to sing. Unforgettable, that's what you are. Ha-ha. I don't know where that came from, but now I'm ready to do it. Ah, crap. Yeah, that's not the song. <laughs> I was reading the lyrics to one of them, and I went, what? No one said F the F-Dom back then? What the hell's going on here? Oh, I almost, I almost got it. It's starting to come back to me. No, I got a different song stuck in my head now. Shoot. Uh, why does this have to be my life? Ah. Sorry. I know this is really entertaining, but I need to get this right, or else it's going to bother me. Here we go. This one's called Stardust. Technically by Matt, Nat and Cole. And now the purple dusk of twilight time Steals across the meadows of my heart High up in the sky Little stars climb, always reminding me that we're apart. You wander down the lane and far away, leaving me a song that will not die. Love is now the stardust of yesterday, the music of the years gone by. Sometimes I wonder how I spend the lonely nights dreaming of a song. The melody haunts my reverie, and I am once again with you when our love was new, and each kiss an inspiration. But that was long ago. Now my consolation is in the stardust of a song. Beside the garden wall, when stars are bright, you are in my arms. The nightingale tells his fairy tale. Of paradise where roses grew, though I dream in vain, in my heart it will remain my stardust melody, a memory of love's refrain. There we go. You're welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, stop it. <coughs> Whiskey. Son of a bitch. 
waterfalls. Is that the gold, gold chasing waterfalls? Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Is that it? It's the only waterfall song I know. <whistles> ah, crap. I missed something. Blah. Oh, my God. Give it to me now. Is that TLC? I have no idea. That's a song I remember from like the 90s. I don't even remember who did it. I could sing it. I would sing it real weird like, but hey. That's what people like to see is weird things and strange situations and bizarre accents, apparently. <laughs> that is the song. I don't know how it goes exactly. I only know that one little bit. No, I don't know the first part. Listen to me. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. I know that you're going to have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. That's a no, that's the only part I know. Everything else is all not easy to do, so no. Beautiful people. Dr. Doolittle. I know the Manson version. Beautiful people, the beautiful people. Ba -da -da. That's it. Jinyan, do you ex all expect y'all? God, what's happening? You all expect me to know a lot of songs I do not know. Gin and juice, but the fish version? What the hell? Okay. That's good to know that Whiskey knows. It will know that to be... Mm. Good to know. On to the whiskey, because that's what this channel is all about. It's not about anything else. Oh. Hello, what the hell? What? I'm having a hard time with this, by the way. There's a mild fruit note. All right. Gin and juice, but the fish version. I will look it up. I will put it on the Google. I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> I typed in gin and gin. Okay. Google will let me know. I'll leave it at that. I'll listen to it later. And if it's any weirder than I think it is, I'll... Oh, there's a song. Hold on. Wait, wait. I had all along the watchtowers pop into my mind just now. I didn't even know the lyrics. I'm not even sure how it goes. Hey! No. Harrison, Dr. Doolittle. I know Dr. Doolittle, but it's vague. Super vague. Hold, please. This is the joy of Google. I can look up stuff in an instant. Nineteen sixty-seven. That was way before my time. But then again, so was Ben Adams Broomsticks and probably uh, Mary Poppins. Now, I don't know if I've ever actually seen Doctor Doolittle, like the old one. But again, nineteen sixty-seven. So oh. it's on the list. Put on the list. It's on the list now. I can watch it on YouTube for three ninety-nine. Not going to do that. It's on iTunes and it's on Google Play, but it's not on anything big like Netflix or you know, Amazon Prime or something. Oh, the gourds. Oh, 
Fish did a cover. I found fish gin and juice. Or is the Gourd's the Gour's vision version? You were thinking of that instead. Oh no. This one has that note I can't place suddenly. It's the thing I find in um, Evan Williams 101. Evan Williams 101. Evan Williams White Label. And the heck. I found it in something recently. The E.H. Uh, e. Taylor small batch. I got it in there at, at some point recently. That was dumb. I didn't like that. No, wait. It was Wild Turkey 101. Which would explain why I'm getting it in this. So there's that. And I can't pick out what it is. I swear it's this weird... I think I said sour, but that's not right. Oh, that's annoying. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, and I can't find a word for it. Ugh. Riders on the storm. Into this world we're born. Something like that. To this world we're thrown. Duty free going to Puerto Rico, but can't import it. What? What? <laughs> As always, this country makes no sense at times. So if you're going, if you're going to Puerto Rico from the states, you can't go to a duty free shop. They're just like no. But if you're going from Puerto Rico back to the states, they let you go to the duty free store. I don't know how that works, but okay. One thing that bothered me is that when I there the one time I go travel like years ago mind you to go to Texas I think there's a duty free area in the the airport I go to but it it was closed there's nothing going on and I had a feeling they wouldn't allow me to buy anything if I was just going to another state they would have to have me go uh, somewhere else for some reason duty free stop short bleh, duty free shops are kind of dumb. I like the idea of getting special stuff, but why not just have that everywhere? That'd be cool. I will look up the lyrics to Riders on the Storm. I don't exactly know what they are. I will also look up the Gourds Gin and Juice for later. I don't know what that hell, the hell that's about, but we'll find out later. Shh. We're closing. Riders on the Storm. By the doors. Whiskey, by the way. I really need to sit down. I need to sit down with a psalm and figure out what this weird note is that I keep getting out of stuff. Because I don't like it. And I'm not sure what it is. It's bothering me to... Yeah, the end of the earth here. God damn. I think I've equated it to kind of a... It's got to be a fermentation thing or a barrel thing. Because it almost feels like a fruit that's been fermented or a fruit that's about to go off in some way. Like it's over-ripened or something. That's the only thing I could equate it to. As far as a wood thing, it's almost a peculiar tannin-ish thing that I don't like. But that's a guess. I'm not quite sure what it is. So it's just this little thing that bugs me, and I can't quite put my finger on exactly what it is, and that's what bothers me about it, other than I don't like it. If I could pinpoint why I don't like it, that would help. Oh! It's also kind of reminding me of banana peel, and I'm not a fan of bananas. I'm like ripe banana peel, like the black, weird, gross kind. Oh, not on the taste, thankfully. Ooh, this one's dry too. Mm. That's a long, uh, that's a long finish there too. It's very dry. Like my tongue just went, why? I need water. <laughs> Ah. How's it been two and a half hours already? It's almost like I've been distracted the entire time. 
Oh, riders on the storm, riders on the storm. Into this house we're born, into this world we're thrown. Like a dog without a bone, an actor out alone. Riders on the storm. Here's musical stuff here. Boo, 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 boo. Here's a killer on the road. His brain is squirming like a toad. I don't know how to play some of these words. Take a long holiday. Let your children play. If you give this man a ride, sweet family will die. Killer on the road. Yeah. Girl, you gotta love your man. Girl, you gotta love your man. Take from by the hand. I know how it goes, like the, the pacing. Make him understand. The world on you depends. Our life will never end. You gotta love your man. Yeah. <laughs> Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm, into this house we're born, into this world we're thrown, like a dog without a bone, an actor out alone, riders on the storm, that's actors out on loan, I, I splash that together, riders on the storm, riders on the storm, riders on the storm, riders on the storm. Ow. I got music in my airplane in my head there. Right. So there you go, Whiskey Samurai. I do know it. Sort of. Kind of. Ish. Ooh, Last Chance of Mary Dane. That's a favorite of mine because I knew a girl, a young lady. No, it was a girl. So we were in high school. Uh, whose name was Jane. I'm not going to say her last name, but that's what I think of every time I hear that song or hear of that song. All right. Last Dance with Mary Jane. Let's see if I can do that. One. That's a... It doesn't exactly fit my singing style, but what the hell? It's Tom Petty. Everyone likes Tom Petty. And if you don't, who are you? No. Not everyone likes Tom Petty. That's just a thing. Ah! I gotta get this song stuck. I haven't heard this song in quite a while, so pardon me if I'm rusty as hell, because I will be. Oh gosh, I'm reading the lyrics. I don't remember how it goes. She grew up in an Indiana town, had a good-looking mama who never was around. But she grew up tall and she grew up right with those Indiana boys on the Indiana nights. Musical interlude. Well, she moved down here at the age of 18. She blew the boys away. It was more than they had seen. And I was introduced and we both started grooving. She said, I dig you, baby, but I got to keep moving. On, keep moving on. <laughs> the Sinatra version. Well, last dance with Mary Jane. One more time to kill the pain. I'm changing the notes. I'm sorry. I feel summer creeping in, and I'm tired of this town again. Well, I don't know. I can't even do that. Well, I don't know, but I've been told you never slow down, you never grow old. I've tried to, well, I'm tired of screwing up. I'm tired of going down. I'm tired of myself. I'm tired of this town. Oh, my, my. Oh, hell yeah. Honey, put on that pony dress. Buy me a drink, sing me a song. Take me as a come, cause I can't stay alone. Musical interlude. 
Last dance with Mary Jane. One more time to kill the pain. I feel summer creeping in and I'm tired of this town again. There's a pigeon down in Market Square. She's standing in her underwear, looking down from a hotel, looking down from a hotel room. Nightfall will be coming soon. Oh my my! Oh hell yeah! You got to put on that party dress. It was too cold to cry when I woke up alone. I hit the last number. I walked to the road. Last dance with Mary Jane. One more time to kill the pain. Two, three. I feel summer creeping in and I'm tired of this town again. See, I saw the lyrics, so I'm assuming that's the end of the song. Again, I have not heard that song in a very long time. It is a little borderline Elvish, Elvish, Elvishish, Elvis like. But I mean, it's really hard to sing a song like Tom Petty with, it's like, okay, here's Tom Petty, here's Frank Sinatra, and oh, look, it's Elvis. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. It's the little swagger and the swinging. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm trying to do Tom Petty and Sinatra. It's like, eh, I don't know where to go. <laughs> I'm slipping down a hill and I can't stop. Richard Cheese does Tom Petty. Sweet. Slipped into my Eric Cartman there. Sweet. Oh. Ooh, a little chocolatey. Like dark chocolate. Sorry, back to whiskey now. I'm sorry. And this is really dry. This is much drier than the other two. Whew, I like it. Ah, crap. I said I like it, and my brain was like, oh, pinball. Ping! I like it like that. I haven't heard that song in a very long time either. Oh. I'll add it to the list of things to look up tonight. Richard che Richard Cheese does Tom Petty. I'm not even sure who Richard Cheese is. I want cheese now. I love cheese. Just so we're clear, I love cheese. You want me to start reviewing cheese? I might. Granted, I do not love all cheese. Goat cheese, not a huge fan. Tried it. Works in some ways. Blue cheese, kind of. Sort of. Ish. It's a horrible thing, isn't it? Where it's like... Ding, 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 ding. <sighs> I haven't heard that song in so long. I'm going to now put it on Spotify for later. You know, part of it is, be pro uh, and I don't want to say that. That might sound really bad. Because I don't even know what kind of song this is. I just make It just makes me think of certain things. I, I swear that's related to a commercial with me. I don't know which one. I like it like that. I like it. That's definitely a commercial tune at some point in my life. No. Behave yourself. And it is. <laughs> That's true. I know it. there was a guy at uh, the factory I used to work at a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But his name was Richard and everyone called him Dick. For whatever reason, I don't know if, uh, Pete Rodriguez. It was Rodriguez who comes in here every once in a while. But I guess that's the song. I don't even know what style that is. It feels like something from... Uh... Wow, my brain. Hold, please. Dee, 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 ping. 
Where is it? It's in there. Come on. Oh, come on. Hold on. I have to stop thinking about it. If I keep thinking about it, I'm going to drive myself crazy. I'll think about one of the songs. It's a sad song, though, and it make me cry. Remember me when I have to say goodbye. Remember me. Don't let it make you cry. Because even when I'm far away, I'll hold you in my heart. Ray? I sing a secret song to you each night. Each night, each night we are apart. Remember me. Oh, I have to travel far. Remember me. Each time you hear a sad guitar. No, that I am with you the only way that I can be. Until you're in my arms again. <laughs> Remember me. That's the wrong version, but that's okay. Wait, wait, I'm getting close to it. Hold on, don't tell me. Oh, God, I can see the character now. Coco. God damn, that was annoying. I'm also not sure whether the songs for Coco started to get in my head, so sorry. I got sidetracked. Yes, Whiskey Mountains, definitely. Coco. I couldn't remember the name of the movie, and I'm not quite sure which song slipped in my brain a second ago, other than the Remember Me song. That's a favorite of mine, by the way. It's one of my one of my more favorites recently. There's also I want to say recently, but I know this came out like five years ago. Uh, Tangled, Tangled is glorious. The song on there that makes me weep is uh, and at last I see the light, and it's like a fog has lifted, and at last I see the light. I don't know the next lyric. Seems new. I don't know. And it's warm and real and bright. And the world has somehow shifted. Ah, it's a sad song. Moana is also amazing. Yes, that's another favorite of mine. I can just see Dwayne Johnson singing, and it's just hilarious to me. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. What can I say except you're welcome? There you go. Direct link to Whiskey Nose live streaming at 9 p.m. Tune in next after I finish my so-called review of Brussels. If you're still here, thanks. <laughs> I've gone off on a tangent this past hour because I don't function after two hours, I promise. If nothing, I have validated that fact this day. I'm trying to think of other songs in there that I can sing for uh, any, any reason whatsoever. I just know the You're Welcome song. Oh, wait, no, there's a snail. He's not a snail. He's a crab. What is he? Hold, please. Because I'm beautiful, baby. Shiny. If you watch that movie, you know what I'm trying to reach for here. Because I'm so shiny. Damn it. Jim Beam. What? Chinese food. Let's not talk about Chinese food again. Damn it. <laughs> Whiskey Mountains, you weren't here, but uh, Bourbon was mentioning Chinese food earlier and coercing me into getting some egg rolls, which I will not do because human beings, basically. We have come full circle.
I'm not looking at the lyrics of the Shiny Zong, shush. Oh gosh, I can't say his name. Well, tomato hasn't always been this glam. I was a sad drab, sorry, I was a drab little crab once. Now I know I can be happy as a clam because I'm beautiful, baby. Did your granny say listen to your heart? Be who you are on the inside. I need three words to tear her argument. I need three words to tear her argument apart. Your granny lied. I'd rather be a shiny like a treasure from a sunken, sunken pirate wreck. Scrub the deck and make it look shiny. I will sparkle like a wealthy woman's neck. Just a sec. I don't know how this next verse goes. Don't you know, fish are, don't you know, fish are dumb, dumb, dumb. They chase anything that glitters. Oh, and here they come, come, come to the brightest thing that glitters. Mmm, fish dinner. I just love free food, and you're looking like seafood. Well, well, well. Little Maui's having trouble with this look. You little semi demi mini gown. Ouch, what a terrible performance. Get the hook. Get it. You don't swing like you used to, man. Yet I have to give you sir, credit for my start. And your tattoos on the outside. But just like you, I made myself a work of art. I'll never hide. I can't. I'm too shiny. Watch my dial work a diamond in the rough. Strut my stuff. My stuff is so shiny. I gotta stop. I've had more than two drinks tonight, and I've been singing songs for an hour. It's all right. It is hilarious. I agree. Absolutely hilarious. I love it. And the ending to that movie, the twist with the heart, the earth heart, the heart of earth. And, uh, oh, gosh, what's the name of the evil fiery thing? Takai. I think it's Takai. Sounds like a Klingon word. I don't sing out loud often enough because of my vocal instructor from years gone by. I feel like I should put that out there a little more, but as I said early in the stream, I do not want to be the guy in the, with the mustache who sings. That would be kind of awful. I like to sing on my own terms. I do like looking up songs that I know, though, like the Tom Petty song was a nice twist. Hmm. Well, I gotta say, Rare Bird 101 likes his uh, dry whiskeys, at least in my personal opinion here. This one is sucking the life out of my tongue. But that certainly encourages you to go back for another sip, I will admit. Look at that. Less than 15 minutes until Whiskey Nose. Whiskey Nose goes live? Shit. Hold, please. There we go. The direct link is available for you in chat. But yeah, Whiskey Nose is going live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is in 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes. Good day, y'all. Good day, y'all. Scotch down on his ear. And unfortunately for him, every time he comes into a chat, someone has to slip into an Australian accent, which must be rough for him because that probably sound terrible. I have a feeling someone in Australia would not say terrible. Doesn't sound right at all. But welcome to the stream. I'm going I'm going over my time limit here because it's bourbon night is not around. And whiskey nose is going on next. Ken is in the house, yes. No, it likes it. Well. Crikey. 
Going to have to put some shrimp on the body, which makes no sense at all, technically, but it's a saying for some reason. Uh, also, that's not a knife. This is a knife. Uh, what else, other horrible catchphrases do I know in an Australian accent? Scotch Down Under, we had an interesting conversation earlier. We were trying to figure out the exact difference between Australian accents and New Zealand accents. There is one, but I can't quite... It's really hard to switch from one to the other. I can do Australian just because I listened to Steve Irwin growing up, uh, as I was reminded earlier because I couldn't remember his damn name for a bit. And what else? Other than you, who else have I heard for an Australian accent? There's probably someone, but I can't remember at the moment. If I hear an accent enough times, I can lock it down, but there are plenty of them that I don't know very well. Oh, it's a compliment, I'm sure. Right? There's a difference, but it's hard for us in the States, at least for me, to freaking pin that down. Ken loves hearing Australian accents. I'm certain of it. Now, what Ken needs to do is when he goes on other people's streams, he needs to try to put on his both his best American accent. And uh, he has to say y'all a lot. And he has to throw in a random like in between the bizarre words. Just because, like, you know, like stuff, like, get it? <laughs> there you go. So that's the, that, I just remembered, that's the Scottish accent I kind of default to is uh, Scotty from Star Trek. Hi, Captain. I'll have a little bit more Scots whiskey. Nope, now I'm slipping into uh, Sean Connery. Uh, Sean Connery. 007. Scotch whiskey. Actually, isn't there a thing that him him doing? He was like representing Jim Beam or some shit. Yo. Aye, laddie. And they just shifted that over to O'Brien. He's got a slight Irish brook or whatever it is. Slight accent. I still can't, like copy O'Brien, though. He, he does it so subtly, it's ridiculous. What are you talking about? My lass. That'd be funny. I know he owns a kilt, probably. Everyone should own a kilt. I do not own a kilt. They're expensive, from what I'm told. That's why this is a thing. Join Patreon. Send me money on Venmo and PayPal because that's the only way this boat is afloat. True story. I will wax poetic about the fact that I haven't worked in 10 years. haven't worked a normal job in 10 years. I have been on disability for a very long time for reasons that may not appear apparent to you at the moment, but <laughs> I promise it's there. And this is my only source of income other than help from my parents. Yay. That's a fun feeling at 40 years old. I promise you that. That would be epic. I can, I'm trying to picture that now. I know the guy... Oh, I'm bad with this. So the new Star Trek stuff. There was a guy who did Scotty, who did a very good job, and he was very young. And unfortunately, things for him ended all too abruptly because of a car accident. Help me out here, fellow tricky people. That's one of those little things that's in my brain for some reason. And I haven't even watched the new movies, like, at all. I think I watched the ending to one of them, or watched one of them, maybe? I don't remember. It was a sad story. That's why I remembered it, probably. Less than six minutes until the next live stream goes live. That was redundant. And that is Whiskey Nose. The uh, link was posted earlier. Chekhov, yes. Simon Pegg. Ah. I'm no good with words. Oof. 
Something like that. It was dreadful. It was absolutely heartbreaking to hear about because he did such a good job in that movie. From what I'm told, I don't really remember. I, I have little blips of him doing the accent. It was glorious. But that's it. It was a sad thing to hear because it was so young. He was, what, 20? 24? 25? Something like that? Oh, that's just awful. Shush. Little yappy dog next door. I mean, what are the odds? Makes you want to never drive again. Right? He was adorable. He was adorable with his little accents. I can't do it, Captain. We need more time. I know what you meant. I said adorable. I understand. I got you. Bourbon night. You're not going live. Oh, this is the part I can't deal with, where we have less than five minutes left, and it's like, I'm so happy that you people are here, and that you've stuck with me for three hours, and that everyone keeps donating to the channel, and becoming Patreons, Patrons, Patreons, Patrons, Patrons, to help me keep going. Again, specifically, I can do all this crazy nonsense with SteamYard. The logo is gone, most importantly, because I'm paying the money now. They wanted me to do a full year up front, by the way. Could not do that. Like, give us 200 something odd dollars now and you get this for a year. It costs less. No, it doesn't. It costs 200 something dollars that I don't have. So I'm doing $25 a freaking hour. An hour? Nope. $25 a month. I wish I did $25 an hour. I wish I made $25 an hour. Anyway, I'm getting off track as per usual. So $25 a month to keep that going. As long as Patreon keeps doing that, I will keep doing it because this upgrade stuff is fun. Once I start to figure out how to work stuff a little better, once you know I can have more guests, that's not going to happen. I'll probably only have one every single time. This stream brought to you by my mother when, you know, happy Mother's Day and stuff. Uh, this is a picture of her when she's like younger than me. So there you go. She's on vacation right now. And I can do the overlay. Look, an overlay. Subscribe and like thing over here. It's messed up by all this other stuff, so I'll figure that out later. But I can do it. That's the important part. Otherwise, it was this. Screw that. That's not helpful. No, it isn't. It is not. That's why I haven't been able to do it. But it's easy. That's the only kind of perk. It's fairly simple and straightforward to use, and you can do little things. And since I'm at least mildly fluent in graphic design slash Photoshop, I can do things if I can get myself the motivation to do so. And thankfully, oh God, look who it is. The hell do you want? I mean, hello. <laughs> Welcome. We have about two minutes of the stream left. I'm glad to have you here. Come on down. I'm, I'm filling in this time slot for It's Bourbon Night. Clearly, I mean, I have the shirt. I have the Glen Cairn. Glen Cairn. I've had three drinks in three hours. I feel pretty good. Yeah, I have OBS. I've used uh, I've used something else before when I streamed on Twitch, so that was fun. But I haven't used that in probably what was it Streamlabs? Streamlabs, I think I used. That was pretty easy to do. Complicated. Exactly. I mean, Roy uses it, so it's good for something. Yeah, man. Stop by. I usually go live earlier, but we're, we're doing the thing tonight. Less than one minute. No pressure. I know you are. If I have any questions about OBS, I know who to turn to. Yeah, Streamlabs. I've used Streamlabs before. Might use it again someday, but uh, again, we'll see. The baby. It's the baby. I drank three different Russell samples. Uh, Russell's Reserve. Well, I just had Russell's Reserve picked by Rare Breed 101. He is on the Twitter. Russell's Reserve Tyrone A and Russell's Reserve Tyrone B, which I believe are the Rick House options. It's a bit weird, but it works. Yeah. Uh, this version is just a little easier to use. 
Here we go. We're at the end. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're all here. Feel free to watch the replay for the nonsense. Until next time, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. That's not you. Bing.